Listen, um, Grandma's not been well lately. She's... They What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty, back again with another stream, and oh my lord, <laughs> our boy Phil just came off of Christmas, Christmas break, and this was a lovely uh, present that the universe had for Phil, oh my lord, big ups to Jasper Kitty for being the number one detractor, and for holding Phil accountable for his procrastination and his laziness. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining. Oh my lord. By the way, I just posted a video. I was going to post one earlier, but I just didn't have the time. But I essentially wanted to give my thoughts and roast Phil for being the lazy procrastinator that he is. And I talked about how, how much, you know, how much extra cash he made in November. And how, you know, why couldn't he take some of that cash and upgrade his system? You know, he could have got new Windows 10 for his laptop. He could have reinstalled everything. He could have cleaned it out. He could have added an SSD card. He could have done, you know, simple fixes that would have cost him a couple hundred bucks. Get a new capture card and be good to go. But no, what did he do? He took that money, spent it on a TV that he didn't need. He spent it on a PC monitor that he didn't need. Spent it on an Xbox Series X for the horse uh, and bought himself a joystick. All these things that he did not need. But of course... You know, our boy Phil, when he has a dollar in his pocket, that's burning a hole in his pocket, he has to spend it on something. And that's what he did. He took that extra about three grand and just wasted it on junk. So now yet again, he's sitting here saying, I don't have any money. Um, my I can't stream. My PC's dead. And whose fault is this? Phil's. But of course, he would never take ownership or blame for any of this. Uh, so yeah, so now he's actually just stuck like Chuck. And yeah, today he's going to definitely, definitely beg for that new PC. You know, he'll he'll beat around the bush and then hope that, you know, he gets enough tips of donations. And what he may do is say, hey, maybe we can do an, a, a special stream this weekend, you know, to raise the money for the PC. And I think that's that's the route he's going to go. That's good. Right? He's going to waste money. He's going to get a capture card. I don't even think it's his capture card because that capture card, I know what it is. It's lining up, it's blue, and he does get audio, so it tells me it's not the capture card. It tells me that it's probably um, his laptop. His laptop's probably screwed up. So, uh, yeah, oh my lord. No, I didn't. I heard about it, though. I'm going to definitely check it out uh, after this stream. I've just been really busy. I really didn't have too much time to, to just watch other content and stuff. You know, it's the holiday season, and of course, Phil just can't give us a break. You know, he has to just come out in full force. And, you know, I, I may, I may, I may need to have to revise my top 10 worst moments of DSP. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for doing that for me. I, I appreciate you giving me more work. You know, you refuse to do any additional work, but of course you're going to make, you're going to make your boy duty to do some additional work. Anyway, thank you everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, 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 hold on a second. There's a danger. Hold on, let me mute that. All right. So anyway, yeah, so uh, hope everybody had an awesome Christmas, man. It's been a while since I chatted with you guys. How's everything going with you guys? Hope everyone's doing well, man. Yeah, I'm good seeing everybody, man. It's really nice seeing you guys. I appreciate it. I'm glad everybody had a nice, relaxing break and, uh, you know, enjoyed themselves and just had a really, really good time this this holiday break. I really appreciate that. Oh, my God, I don't have ad block. No, you know me. I have ad block. 
I live off of ad blocks. I would feel hypocritical using that block on other content creators. So yeah, yeah, definitely. So yeah, I was following the events that were occurring today uh, on, excuse me, on Phil's stream. And uh, oh my Lord, like I was super shocked. I was gonna clip his God of War stream because I know that the God of War stream has just been dead. And then uh, I tuned it out for a little bit. Then I checked and I saw that he wasn't streaming. I saw his, his, his stream was down. I was like, oh, what the hell's going on? So then I got hit up by uh, Chill Murray. He let me know that, oh yeah, he's having problems with his with his streaming thing. So I checked it out. What's up, Luna? How are you doing, Pip? I checked it out and I saw, oh, okay, the capture card. And uh, just saying to myself, how many times has that cat been laying on that capture card? And the reason why is because it's warm, it's hot. And cats like to lay on warm things. So, you know, they're just going to gravitate to it. So again, that is Phil's fault for being lazy and not having his shit together and not having his components in the right place, not having his, you know, having his wires laying all over the place. Um, you know, and that's a hazard for the cat. The cat can, you know, cats like wires, they like the nibble and stuff like that. So God forbid he nibbled, you know, on his, uh, on the wires and got electrocuted. But of course, Phil being the lazy procrastinator that he is, um, you know, never does anything until it's the very last moment. And you see him here now struggling with his, uh, with his setup because yet again, now he can't stream. So, you know, he's forced to actually do something now. And, um, yeah, yeah. So here we go. Here we go. Yo, what's up, Anthony? What's, and again, what's up everybody, man? I'm sorry I was rambling on, but I started to stream a little late and I wanted to give my two cents on what I thought on Phil. Uh, I did just post a video right now, so it should be live, so you guys can check it out afterwards. It essentially gives my whole thoughts on the whole, this drama and how, essentially I call him out for being lazy, being uh, a procrastinator, and I highlight the point that um, last year, he last month, last November, Phil ended up getting about 30, about 3,500 bucks more than he would normally get in his paycheck. And of course, you guys know it had it, it, it was due to um, it was due to those thousand memberships that that membership that he got from Team Michael Gamer, and then all the support he ended up getting for around the, the Thanksgiving, what you call it, uh, not Thanksgiving, the Halloween stuff, and he made a ton of cash. And you would think that he would say to himself, "Okay, I got these thirty five hundred bucks. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? I should invest some money." He should could have took fifteen hundred bucks, got himself a PC a capture card, some lighting, and, you know, um, and have the setup done and fine for what he needed. It would have been a way better and maybe even a way camp for 1500 bucks. He could have gotten everything. Does he do that? No, he just takes the money and says, well, I'm going to buy myself a thousand dollar TV when he didn't need it. I'm going to buy myself a PC, a second PC monitor, which you don't need. If you're not doing any gaming and editing, you don't need two monitors. He bought himself a monitor, bought himself a joystick, he didn't need the joystick and then bought his wife who has a gaming pc bought her an xbox series s because he likes the game pass so much why not just buy her game pass for pc and it's just that it's just and god knows what else he bought and you know, we all know that he spent a lot of that money on the ww champions probably half of it went to ww champions so and then he sits here and he says well it's not my fault i didn't do anything what can i do uh it's just bad luck no, it's not bad luck. It's not bad luck, Phil. You had the money and you refused to take some of that money and invest it in your business. How, how often do you say your business is so important? Your business is so critical to your lifestyle and everything. And yet you refuse to take any money and invest it in your business. You could have took 1500 bucks and did everything you needed to do with your PC and your setup and you would have been streaming a lot better. And you don't even need that much because I... If your boy Duty would give Phil a three thousand dollar PC, uh, a, a three thousand dollar PC with a capture card, uh, top, everything top of the line with a camera, his streams would look exactly the same. Nothing would change. He might get a little better picture quality, but nothing else would change. His content would still be stale. Um, he would still not know how to run OBS, and um, yeah, so it's like a waste. And like I said to myself, you know, it's like he can even do it on the cheap. He could take 500 bucks and clean up his laptop, get Windows 10, uh, get an SSD for it, add some, uh, add some memory if he wanted, and then he'd be fine. He'd be good as shit. He'd be fine. 
you know, and then buy yourself a capture card. He can do that all for like 500 bucks, you know, and he would have been fine. He wouldn't have had to worry about updating his stream instead of for a few more years. He could have just saved up his pennies, you know, and bought a PC when he had the money. Yeah. <laughs> On Twitch tracks is spending. Oh yeah, yeah. I watch Team uh, uh, Game Box. I, I do some of those videos on the WWE thing, but that's kind of his thing. So I don't want to take views. Oh, you know, I'm trying to be better that way. Where I like, for example, I haven't been streaming much because I know um, Chill Mary's been streaming. A whole bunch of other folks have been streaming. So it's kind of like you know, I make videos and I make a lot of videos, and then I don't want to like hog up all the streaming as well. You know what I mean, I'm trying to trying to spread the love and the views with with everybody so uh that's why i don't do too many on the whole game box thing so yeah i went to bills now it didn't go to bills at all trust me <laughs> i mean it, it did pay his mortgage and his back taxes and all that but the money that he gets on his paycheck regularly his his regular paycheck pays for that and he stayed with that it pays for that and then it leaves him a couple hundred bucks extra bucks to do whatever so having that additional three to thirty five hundred bucks in his check for that November, that's money that he had that he could have saved or he could have reinvested in his business, you know, and he refused to do it. And the reason why he refused to do it is because he didn't see an urgency. For example, he still was streaming. Uh, you know, everything was working OK, I guess. And he said to himself, well, that's a problem for tomorrow and I'm not going to deal with that. I'm not going to take the money that I got the extra three grand of 3,500 bucks. I'm not going to take that money and use it on a problem. That's not affecting me right now. That's essentially what ended up happening. But the problem with that is when you think like that, it's going to eventually bite you in the ass. There's going to be a day where something's not going to work. And then you're going to scramble and spend two hours trying to figure out what the problem is. When, if you took the time and spent the additional money, uh, don't worry about the stream labs. It just happens from time to time. You can ignore it. Don't worry. You're not going to get banned or timed out or anything. You're good. Um, but, you know, if he would have took the additional time and money that he got in November and then reinvested it in his business, he would have been okay. But no, he figured, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to take that 3500 bucks and waste it on garbage. And then when I need the money, I'll beg my dents for it. And then they'll give me the money and they'll pay for it. So not only will I get the additional three or thirty five hundred bucks for November to spend it on whatever I want, I'll get an additional fifteen to two grand for my dents to pay for my setup. That that was his thinking, and that's why he did it. And that's why he didn't bother fixing anything. So I'm actually streaming to hear what he has to say today, what he's gonna have to say here, because I hope people call him out on it. I hope people call him out because this isn't me just saying it. He said it himself that he made a lot of cash for November that allowed him to buy the monitor, buy him the joystick, the TV, and to buy the uh, Xbox Series X for his wife, who has a PME PC that doesn't need an Xbox Series S. So he made that decision and actually said that I had the money. Um, and we know because we've seen the streams, we know that... Um, we know that he made that extra money. We know that he got those thousand subs and uh, you can easily calculate what he made. I mean, for each sub, he gets what about three bucks. And if he had a thousand subs that day, right there, that's three grand right there. Now I know YouTube, well, that's, that's after YouTube's cut, you know, that's three grand right there. And that's not even including the extra tips, the extra super chance that he got around the holiday break and people feeling sorry for him. Remember when his TV broke, how many people felt sorry for him and gave him money? I think he made almost like a thousand dollars in two days and that money was the money that was applied to that month so it was extra money that he had on top of what he would normally get and what did he do he he again he just didn't bother saying to himself oh i have this extra money let me reinvest in my business he didn't do that he went on a wwe binge he bought a tv remember he was looking at a four to five hundred dollar tv and that became a thousand bucks why because he had that money in his pocket and Phil, if he has a dollar in his pocket, he has to spend it. He's just one of those people that you can't, he can't have a dollar in his pocket because he's going to spend it on something he doesn't need. And he has no one to check him. You know what I mean? Like his wife has no clue what the hell's going on. Yeah, he financed it. At that, look at that, he financed it. So essentially, um, 
that money that was supposed to be earmarked for the TV, he already spent that. And he figured, oh, well, every month I'll just make a monthly installment payment and my dents will just give me that money. And if it gets really bad, I'll beg. I'll say, oh, I ran into some extra bills I didn't know about. Uh, I need your help. If you guys can support, that would be great. And then whatever tips he got towards that, he would apply it to, you know, the TV fund. You know, when, when he bought it, I remember when he bought it and he paid the extra when he paid a thousand for it. And I said to myself, why is he doing it? And then it was because he could finance it. And I said to myself, that's going to become the new bill. It's going to be the TV bill, which he's going to talk about every month and essentially say, oh, guys, I got two big bills coming up, the TV bill, the condo bill. And that's what he was going to do. And he's so, oh man, he is so predictable. That's the thing. Phil is just a predictable person. And you can actually just see it a mile away and say, this is going to happen. And it always does. I remember when he, when he got that bomb, I said to myself, he, he should take that money and buy himself a PC or reinvest it, you know, in fixing up his laptop or whatever. But I knew he was going to do it. He, yeah, you can get a Samsung 4K. But no, Phil wanted to be extra and rely on his den heads to actually help him figure out and buy a new TV, which was so pointless. He didn't need it right away. He didn't need it right away. He could have used his PC monitor and used that as his gaming monitor until he was able to make a more educated purchase. No, Phil needed to spend that money right away. It was an excuse for him to, to spend that money, and he did. Free. Big ups, pimp. Thank you very much for the final super chat. Uh, emergency, stream, emergency stream, I need more of your money. Capture card down. Already spent your Christmas tips on WWE champions in the need of positivity. Snort, snort. Big ups. You are 100% correct on that free. 100%. And of course, Phil won't couch it that way. He will couch it as, um, you know, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, oh, um, I tried that. Oh, maybe I should try this. Or maybe I should, oh, you know what, guys? Maybe I should just bite the bullet and just buy a new PC right now. You know what I mean? Because what if I spend 100 bucks on a capture card and it doesn't still work? What if I spend $100 on Windows 10 and it doesn't work? That's what he's going to say. You know, and he's going to say, I'm going to buy a PC anyway. So I might as well just pump that money now. Ah, uh, what's up, American Rock? You the guy. Thank you, Pittman. I appreciate it. Let me make you a mod. Everybody else is a mod. Whoever needs mod ship, let me know. I will make you a mod. I think everybody here is a mod. I think last time I checked, I'm, I have about 2,800 mods on the Den Head podcast. So big ups to everyone. By the way, real quick, I know I've been gone for a while. It's just December's just been rough for me. So I apologize for that. But my goal is for January, I'm going to be streaming uh, every week. So I'm going to be streaming the Den Head podcast. And then me and Chill have been talking for a while. And uh, we're looking to do a podcast together. So it'll be like a weekly podcast. And, uh, you know, it'll be about talking about just normal stuff. Um, internet drama, Phil, Wings, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, it'll 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 definitely be chill fun. IDs. I think everybody is. Let me see. Let me see. Add mod. Add mod. Let me get you all set up here. Add mod. All right. I think I got everybody. Yeah. So if you chat now, you'll probably see yourself in blue with a wrench. And like I always say, like I always say, with shitty powers come shitty responsibilities. We only have two rules here. Number one is there are no rules. And number two, don't ban anybody. Please, please don't ban anybody. I got a few people that actually moderate in my chat. So if you have a problem, let them know. They'll hook you up. Duty and Lummox, best on YouTube. Thank you, Pim. Thank you, Pim. Yeah, Lummox is awesome. I love Lummox. Uh, what is up? What is up? What is up? Yeah, so he should be on soon unless the capture card completely died, which could have happened. Uh, but yeah, I've been missing you guys. I've been missing my fellas. I know that I haven't been, haven't been able to stream much. Uh, I've talked to a bunch of you guys on Twitter, so that's been really cool. Uh, thank you for hitting me up. Uh, I'm actually going to post my Twitter here. Um, so this is my Twitter. Uh, you can send me a friend request. I, I always follow back or I follow. I follow back. I chat in, uh, in, in DMs. If you want to chat on DMs, I'm always open to chat in DMs. Uh, just keep the keep the nudes to a minimum. Uh, 
and that's about it yeah so yeah i talked to a bunch of you guys on um twitter it's a lot of fun i really appreciate engaging you guys you know me i like engaging in the comments and everything else so yeah i mean if you guys want to chat a little bit on on twitter or ask a question and you just kind of want an informal kind of chat thing and don't want to do it here that's cool you can hit me up and i'm really good with uh you know following and, and responding back so if i don't respond right away it's usually that i'm just a little busy with life but i always get back i always get back to everybody so oh my lord team Ico. <sighs> team Ico. team Ico is straight up that has to be io uh oic oic just for the simple fact too that the old ico oic yeah yeah i definitely feel like it's him um i think oic is uh emil and I think he is, um, he's Emil and he is, uh, that team Ico guy. Yep. Yep. Their patterns are very similar. Um, so, I mean, if you guys ever go out and check out piece to piece, uh, uh, videos and his tip tracker, you can see, you can definitely see there, there are some similar similarities between those streamers and stuff. And you can kind of pinpoint specific, specific things and see, yeah, this, this doesn't look right. Or um you know even in their messaging too like i know that uh super crazy does a really good job with highlighting people that have left the streams and kind of come back on their pseudo name and just their verbiage the shit they say the way they say it the way they type uh just mirror somewhere else and sometimes they kind of you know um they they kind of expose themselves by saying something that they shouldn't have said so uh yeah so i'm going to um stream this uh hopefully the whole thing unless he's just boring or whatever oh lisa lou that's it that that's one of that has to be one of the old um old uh whales that it went away and that just come kind of came back because um someone did a really good video on her i think it was piece of piece uh where they focused on her tipping and the way she types and stuff and they they pinpoint and they think it's 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 an old one of the older um whales that left and kind of came back um so yeah, so he piece of piece does an awesome job with that. So if you ever guys really want to kind of dig into that, look into that, his videos are awesome and his streams are really good. So I definitely recommend that. Um, yeah, 2023. Oh, by the way, two things real quick. So for starting January, I'm going to be doing the Denhead podcast at least the four days that he streams during the week, uh, and then I'll be doing a, a separate podcast with Chill and maybe Snore or someone else. I'm not sure. And then um. One other thing, I'm going to do a new series. Uh, I may kind of do it along the lines of a TV series where next year will be season 15. So I'll call it DSP, DSP Gaming, you know, yeah, Dark Side Phil season 15. And then we'll have uh, chapters. So essentially it'll be chapter one and I'll give it a name uh, and it'll kind of be a theme. So I want to do a little bit more like um, a little bit more uh, positive, not positive, but a little more polish. Um, uh video at least one get one out a week or something like that like i'll pick out a highlight or i'll string along some videos and kind of make it into a telenova tell i don't know if you guys know uh those spanish soap operas are called telenovas telenovela that's what they call them so i'll kind of make it like that and uh it's something that i want to start putting out like maybe uh once a week maybe on like on his day off where it's slow i will post um I'll post a video and it'll kind of be a montage and it'll be themed out for each week. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to do that. Cause I, I want to do, I, I got me some, actually bought me some really good, uh, editing software for my PC and I figured I should use it. So, oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. So make it into, I, I was thinking about wings, but the problem with wings is you just so erratic and it's the same thing every stream. So to make, to make, uh, to make chapters out of his would be just what call of duty call of duty or rainbow three it seems and the occasional kelly drama but yeah but dsp is always just uh something something unique or different always occurs there so there's a lot more content with phil so definitely looking into that for um definitely looking to do that for 2023 and hopefully it kicks off if you guys just like it and i'll keep doing it um as long as uh, it's there you know. No, 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 no banning anybody, Tom. <laughs> I got a couple of people in here that actually mod for me. They actually really mod, so uh, they usually get rid of it. I mean, you guys can clear out the uh, like sex bots and stuff when they pop up. That's fine. 
uh just don't like ban anybody else that's just hanging out or stuff because i know sometimes people don't like certain people oh he's on all right so uh why can't oh, i'm on a delay hold on i'm to stream all right today uh, is the day after christmas december 26 2022 and tonight i'm here live on stream uh not doing what i had planned not doing certainly what i would like to be doing right now can As you guys you know, hear everything let me know give me one in the chat if you guys hear okay here on dsb gaming uh that were very fun and were very entertaining and people really seemed to receive them well and like them and supported them and i really appreciate that uh, my intention today was to get back to full-time gameplay streaming and hit the ground running and making a giant push and what i mean by that is trying to finish up all the ongoing playthroughs that i've been doing in 2022 to wrap them up as soon as humanly possible so then we could do my year-end series which is my most disappointing game of the year countdown and my game of the year awards and then we could move into 2023 in a refreshing refreshing manner all new gameplay new playthroughs you guys currently just as of this morning started nominating games for an upcoming viewers choice event um that was the intention and sadly sometimes things don't work out the way that you plan it seems like this year was the year of a lot of things going wrong for me in regards to equipment i mean just just in this one year my dishwasher broke my car broke down my TV died. Hey, it's like and now, too much for the final my super chat capture pin. device has died. Okay? So what I would like to do is give you the backstory of my PC, my capture device, how it works, how long I've been using it, all that backstory. Then I would like for the rest of the stream tonight to talk with you all about viable options. Already, I can tell you right now, there's many options that are not viable that people keep saying. Um, here's what I'm going to say. It's this simple. All right? Relax. Because everyone's freaking out and or people are massively over exaggerating the situation some people are negatively memeing on purpose to try to draw negativity and say that this stream is something that it is definitely not this stream is not me asking you for money this stream is not asking for donations this stream is me really wanting to ask for advice big up slicely uh, i appreciate that <laughs> what is he's definitely going to be going hard on the super bag tonight for what we can do right now thank you again um, for the follow super chat man i appreciate I actually it have, i also have no idea at all what to do in this situation okay it doesn't seem like there is a definitive answer that is the best answer like i'll be outright honest with all of you if someone literally this very moment said on stream i'm willing to just buy fill outright a whole new pc and a whole capture device shindig right just forget all this nonsense i'll just do it even that isn't a quick solution because you can't just buy a pc and a capture device and have them show up tomorrow you know, especially, you know, for my means, you know, building something that you need for a business is probably going to take a while. So that's what I mean. Like, there's literally not a money isn't fixing the situation. That's not why we're doing the stream tonight. OK, the way I see it, what I need is a lot of advice and feedback from you um, on what is the most viable option. But in order to get there, I need to tell you my whole situation of what's going on right now. OK, so shall I shall I get to it? And everyone relax, by the way. If any contributions or anything come in today, I will shout them out. We have one now I'm going to shout out before we start, actually. Thank you in advance. This is as if I was doing a night stream. You know, I can't. I can't do gameplay for you guys. I can't capture any gameplay at all right now. Um, it's dead. So because of that, you know, if you wanted to contribute to the stream, thanks. I'm appreciative of that. You know, this would have been my normal second session. Uh, but there's not much I can really do about that right now. Okay? That's why we're here tonight. To brainstorm what's the immediate solution short term what can we do maybe tomorrow uh until we get to a point where our, we can get to normal stuff again okay so that's what tonight's about so first off shout out to someone who did our first tip of the night here four dollars and twenty cents if the capture device doesn't arrive in time for the day stream tomorrow can we get a throwback stream of you doing gameplay by pointing a camera at the tv no I already have some ideas, actually, about well, what we can be doing tomorrow, um, which we'll talk about tonight. Let's get to that when we get to it. We're not at that point right now, right? Right now, we're going to initially discuss some options. We're going to do some stuff here and figure that out, okay? Thank you, whoever that was. I have no idea who you were because you did not give me a name, but I appreciate your contribution nonetheless. And uh, all right, we'll get to all this. Don't worry. Again, people jumping the gun, as I knew they would. All right, but I'm just going to say this up front. Anyone who's on this stream to derail it, I need help tonight. And if anyone's here to derail it or be negative or be a dick 
and say things and, and make up shit about what we're here for, like saying, oh, Phil's here to fundraise, you're gone. I mean, you're just gone for good. Don't even think of coming back. Uh, I had enough. I have no patience for this right now. I just had a really good Christmas. And now this, in fact, does this have to happen the day after Christmas when I'm supposed to be coming back strong? I'm just having no patience for nonsense. And you're just going to see my foot on your ass as quickly as possible. And that's the last thing you will see on this stream. Yeah, David, he went on Amazon. He was too lazy okay. to go to the Best Buy. Uh, thank and you actually to, to Kevin, it. who just did a super chat. He said, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Okay. By now, the way, I'm going to chime awesome. in from time to time. So Please do not start typing suggestions. And you can ignore Streamlabs. Don't worry. I, we're not doing ignore that it. yet. <laughs> you need to relax. You don't even know what my situation is. So everyone relax. Okay, let me tell you my situation and what's going on. All right. And then we'll go from there. So here we go. <clears throat> All right. So, eight years ago, I moved here to Washington State. I used to live in Connecticut, and I had basically just adopted direct capture in early 2013. I had a PC that I was using to do it. Um, it wasn't a high-end PC or anything like that at that point. When I had gotten it years before, it was, but it wasn't really a high-end PC at that point anymore. I wasn't really doing much gaming or any gaming like, on it anymore. It's been tough. Um, you know, my life has been tough. And at that time, I wasn't doing direct day. capture. Yeah. I had an actual digital camera with a giant Carl Zeiss lens that I used to point at my TV and aim it up and do these light adjustments to basically record all of my gameplay. And basically in 2013, a lot of people made fun of me and said I was a dinosaur. So what are you thinking? Everyone's doing great capture. You're like the last holdout who's not doing it, who's a, a, a pro at content creation. Back then, they didn't call it content creation. They said you were a pro YouTuber. Why are you not doing direct capture like everybody else? So in early 2013, on a whim one day, I said, enough is enough. Let's just do it. And I burst out of my home on a Saturday with my friend John, and we went to Best Buy, and we saw what capture devices they had. And no exaggeration, I bought two on the spot, not even knowing that they were any good. One was an Elgato, and one was an... Was it Avermedia? It wasn't Avermedia. It was another company. I remember the color was like a green box, okay? I take that back. It was a black rectangular box with a green line on the front. It got lit up with a green Could have been an HD PDR too. I think it was an HD PDR too. Big up here, man. I need banana, tasty banana. I need banana in my mouth. Tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Please don't kill it. Come and get up. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze banana. Squeeze banana. So, all right, let's do the HD PDR too. And, you know, over the course of that year or so, I adjusted to direct capture and, you know, things went well. My quality improved and all of that. Then I moved out here in 2014 from Connecticut to Washington State. And when I did, sadly, my PC just seemed like it wasn't really going to cut it anymore. I was having a lot of issues. The PC even was having issues turning on. And that's not a good sign. If your PC will not turn on, uh, you probably have some issues with the PC or the power supply or both. And you probably want to look into that. So at that point, I was like, listen, I... I, I need to upgrade. I absolutely do. I need to get a better PC, something that's kind of top of the line for what I need to do. I want to be able to game on it. I want to be able to capture on it. I want to be able to stream from it all at the same time. Like that was the intention was game, capture, stream, everything. I want a top of the line PC. And then on top of that, I said, well, um, I need a, a capture device, right? What am I going to use? Now, back then things were very different. We're talking over eight years ago. Options were, you know, internal versus external. Most people told me at the time there weren't that many benefits to having an internal versus an external card. That an external card could pretty much work just as well as internal because back then the highest you could do was 1080p. There was no 4K or anything back then. It wasn't that big of a deal, all right? As long as you had USB 3.0, which this new PC had, you know, you're going to get the same quality. It's not a huge problem. And also, you know, having an external device, if I ever wanted to update it or whatever over the years, is not a big deal. Just buy a new one, right? A big deal. So, at that time, I bought this new PC that cost me, no exaggeration, $3,000. In fact, we, if you want to know the breakdown of that, back in the summer when we went through my closet, the DSP's Closet Cleanout Marathon, you can check that out, I found the invoice of what they charged me for this PC. And I broke it down for you guys, and some people's jaws dropped. They couldn't believe how expensive PC components were eight years ago. They were shocked and scared. And some people actually defecated in their own pants. It was pretty disturbing, actually. I was one of them. But anyway, so we went back through that, and everyone's like, wow. So that top-of-the-line PC was top-of-the-line for you, right? <laughs> Not really. I was able to capture and stream fine, but the moment I tried to play a PC game while I did that... 
the PC game stuttered, the frame rate dropped, and come to find out back then, there was a lot of issues with system bottlenecks, where there wasn't really a way at that time to put all of the load of capturing uh, onto your graphics card. Back then, it was usually your CPU that was doing the vast majority of processing when it was capturing and streaming, while your graphics card would obviously uh, be processing your game graphics, right? If you were rendering a game. Um, and sadly, whenever I tried to play a high-end PC game, this happened over and over and over, where it would just chug, chug, and look like shit. And I was like, wow, I really felt like I wasted a lot of money because I dumped three grand into this using the specs that were recommended to me and everything. And the PC never really did it for me in that regard. Now, outside of that, this PC has been the most reliable PC I have ever owned in my entire life. It almost never has an issue where it crashes. The, the biggest issues I've had over the years is every once in a while, my microphone malfunctions. And then I shut down OBS and I restart it and usually it works fine again. And if, even if that's doesn't work i restart the computer completely fixed so it's not a big deal okay um the only other issue that i've started to have in the last year was uh the look here, look of here. The videos look that listen and that's frustrating appearing you know, offline does not fucking stop it so stop giving fucking advice YouTube you know nothing about upload, and it caused my whole pc to kind of mess up i have to restart it and now i basically have to go into uh the archives of my stream because every time that i stream to youtube it automatically makes an archive for me so sometimes i have to go to the youtube archives and rip the raw video portion out of there that was the corrupted video i recorded um that's frustrating for sure to have to do that but for the most part it i've had no major issues at all with this pc i use it every day all day i don't even shut it down most days Every once in a while, I give it a nice fresh restart, but it runs 24 7 every day for eight years. Seriously, I'm not kidding. This is a beast of a PC. It's the best one I've, I've literally ever had in my life. Okay? Squeeze banana! So, despite the fact I haven't been able to PC game on it, I still love this PC. The capture device Avermedia Extreme Cap U3. That's the name of the capture device that I've used for eight years. It's a USB 3.0 capture device that does up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's its limit. It does not support uh, HDR. It does not support VRR. It doesn't support any of the fancy bells and whistles that new game systems and TVs do because it's old. It's eight years old. It literally was created before those things existed. So how in the heck would it be compatible with them, right? It wouldn't make sense. But for what I've used, okay, um... From what I have used and, you know, all the things that, that we've had over the last eight years, I'm, I would not complain about my quality. If anything, like, the biggest thing to me that I have had happen um, is having to limit my quality because of the website. Hey, Alex, thank I you for the dollar ninety nine uh, like, I would have super chat, man. Keep up no the good work. DSP is my hero. All right, Holmes. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, man. If Twitch would have allowed it. And they didn't. Back then, they didn't. And they still don't today. Their bitrate today is not sufficient for 1080p 60 frames. So, now that I'm back on YouTube full-time for almost two years, I've been doing full 1080p 60 frames. And if you haven't noticed, for the most part, my videos look sweet. However, whenever I play a game that has extreme amounts of action or motion, in particular, you might notice it in first-person shooters, all of a sudden, a lot of frame rate dips happen. Why? Because it's still the same situation where all the capturing is happening through the CPU. If, if you guys get timed out for stream bot or stream labs or, or whatever the bot, I, my bad, I have to adjust that. Just ignore it. Use during these extreme action scenes and boom, frame rate drop. And even my PC warning me it might shut down it's and overheat fault. with all these action um, scenes going on. Okay. So in reality, even this $3,000 PC that I bought eight years ago, never really was able to do exactly what I had wanted. I, I don't I have the outright money. freedom I really do. I need to just money. play any game bills, and play it at smooth bill, quality. In, I think back then, you know, you're talking eight years ago, eight and a half years ago, nothing could really do that unless you were spending, you know, insane amounts of money. 3000 at that time was a lot, but definitely not top top of the line, okay? So, my name is Richard. Basically, that's I where I'm at. Side for eight years, I've been happy. You know, I've been streaming on YouTube oh my for God. a year and a half. I really need to make this fucking money. Now everyone seems happy. Okay. I need that oh, money. I really do. I need your money. I'm done now. Why am I poisoning? What do I mean by that? Side of my room. Uh, this side of my room is having to play table. That's
that goes to the back of my PC. It's got to sit there. There's nowhere else it could be. It's got to sit there because the wires are running out of it. You know, it has to be kind of be in the middle of everything. Hey, Psycho, be careful with deleted messages. Hey, Psycho Go. I mean, not Psycho Lawnmower, dude. Uh, Psycho Go. Thank you, man, for the 499 Super Chat. Uh, do me a favor. Type your message in the stream. I'll read it out, man. I apologize for that. What I've actively noticed, all right, in the last two years is more and more that capture device has become wonky all right here's what i mean by that i'll just go near it and, and i'll touch it with my foot by accident as i'm walking through the room the whole thing turns off now i gotta re unplug it replug it restart obs hope it works sometimes that wouldn't work then i would have to actually restart the entirety of the pc just to get it to recognize it and get it to work again okay that's not good now i've noticed increasingly in the last several years, it's become more and more touchy. It's gotten to the point where I don't even touch the device. I'm walking to my window because it's a warm. Oh, let me open my window a little more. So I open it, I walk back, I sit down, capture device fail. Hey, John Zena, thank you very what much for the dollar ninety nine super chat, man. I appreciate it. But no, no. The vibration of my foot on a carpeted floor made the device catch, you know, capture device malfunction. How is that possible? All right, it must be. All right, let me recycle dude's uh, super chat, man. Thank you, Pam. Uh, dude, uh, hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, it's moving. Hold on, hold on. Uh, dude can use any of those unopened capture cards and do it at 1080p, 1080i. But no, he would rather... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he can. He can do it. He's just a moron. He's just an utter, utter idiot that just refuses to take 10 minutes and do a YouTube search to resolve his issue. That's his problem. Thank you again for the super chat, man. I appreciate it so touchy right today basically this was the straw that broke the camel's back recently jasper kitty has been in here maybe once a week twice a week tops recently and when he's in here you know he likes to play around and he jumps on stuff or whatever for a while for for a few months there he was actually liking to go near my consoles why because the consoles are warm they've got that heat blowing out of them when they're on so he actually likes uh you know, having the warmth, the warm air. Cat, oh, cats all like warmth, right? And I guess what ended up happening was he realized that the capture device on the floor was pretty warm. It warmed up and it was a little smaller, compact size, but a lot smaller than these consoles. Almost like he could snuggle it. So I noticed about a week or two ago, he starts kind of like leaning on it and the thing malfunctions. I said, well, I knew that was going to happen. I know it's touchy. So oh, I get him off of it no, whatever. you didn't. And the other you day he was in fucking here piece and he of put shit his paw sucker. on it. And I actually took a picture of him putting my his paw fucking on it, words. and I shared it as a YouTube short. I'm Remember that? It was during the Christmas marathon. I'm I showed a YouTube out short fuck you of him are. putting his hand on the you capture device. You motherfucker! Right? You are. Guess fucked. what? The capture device malfunctioned when he noticed. did that. Live so the, the, the writing's on the You're wall fucked. here, right? You are done. That this is gonna happen. So today he's in here, and he touches. I, I knew he was over there messing with it. I knew it, right? And. We're in the middle of playing God of War. And keep in mind, again, I'm in a big push to get progress in God of War. And I'm playing it, and we play for about an hour. Everything's good. And then all of a sudden, my TV flickers off and on again. I said, what the? And I look down. Jasper has now put his entire body just on top of the capture device. He squished it. Did he do a flying body splash on it? No, he didn't. He's a cat. He just kind of rubbed on top of it. He probably feels it's really warm on my belly or whatever. This is cute or whatever. You know, it's cute. But when he does it, the thing goes off. I'm like, all right, let me do my usual. So I close the stream. I open the stream again. Uh-oh. The screen's black. Like, I'm not getting any video feed out of this stupid thing. What's going on? I tried it again. Nothing. So I tell everyone on my stream... So the usual methods aren't working. Allow me to try to totally restart my PC. Sometimes this fixes it, and we'll see what happens. I totally start my PC. Nothing. It's still a black screen. All right. Now, I'm trying to figure this out, and I'm trying to troubleshoot. Absolutely, positively, everything I could possibly do. All right. Over the course of today's earlier stream, so I only got about an hour in of God. Yeah, hey, yeah, whatever. I hope your family dies hours. an automobile wreck. All right. We're trying to, so here's what we did. Like, literally, let me go step by step with what we tried. We unplugged and replugged the USB. We unplugged and replugged the HDMI from the splitter. We also unplugged and replugged the HDMI uh, from the TV. 
Uh, like everything. Like every HP, HDMI cable was checked and unplugged and replugged. Okay. Didn't do anything. We tried, we started the PC multiple times. Didn't do anything. We tried messing with the PC settings. You know, there's a settings in, in, L, or, uh, in a OBS for each capture device. And we're messing with the resolutions. We're messing with all these things. Nothing. Nothing is affecting anything. No, nothing. Hey, Charlie, so sorry about that. I gotta, noticed, I gotta get my uh, Streamlabs really uh, Nightbot cleaned up. We're getting audio. Just ignore it. But we're only getting audio. We're getting zero visuals. Just black. But we're getting full audio from the console. So it's like, we know the cables aren't totally dead. So what is going on here, right? We're all kind of scratching our heads and trying to figure this out. Did I update the software? Absolutely. The capture device is so old, there's no new software. All right, because I'm going to explain in a moment. All right. One of the other things that came up later. We're not there yet. We're actually not at that so point. So let's yet. recap we'll the that. situation. But I tried updating. <clears throat> oh, drivers are updated. I did nothing updated. wrong. Okay, four. Okay. So essentially, like nothing's working. So someone came up with an idea. Tom DeMay, thank you very much for the follow on the Super Chat Pen. Just wanted to say so thanks for keeping a spotlight on the POS scam artist. Definitely, so Pep, I appreciate it, man. Could it be the cable that's the USB cable from the device to your PC? And I said, well, the only way we could figure that out would actually be to replace that, but I don't think I'd have a replacement. It's not the standard USB-C cable that you guys would know that would, for example, uh, plug into, say, the back of your Xbox controller right there. It doesn't look like that. It's this weirdo connection. And as I showed it to people on the stream earlier today, they were like, oh yeah, that's called like USB mini or USB 3.0 mini. And it was a really weird connection at the beginning of USB 3.0. And then after that, they got rid of it and everything started using USB-C. So it was divorce kind of saga. Definitely 2023 is divorce saga. Well, like, and well, I don't think I have another cable. And uh, come to find out, YouTube partnership. I did. Because people made suggestions. They said, well, actually... Those cables were very common for hard drives back in the day. Like if you had an external hard like drive. Like a Nintendo cartridge blow on it. You might be right. And I looked and I had an external hard drive, a little, a little, oh, I put it away, a little one, you know, a little, a little wallet drive. And I actually had one that actually had a USB 3.0 cable on it. That's a different cable. I said, Eureka, let's. All right. Uh, he's pissing me off with his constant USB 3. It is not USB 3, you idiot. It is USB C. I need that money. USB I really I need that money. C. Let's try it. So I unplugged it from the hard drive. I plugged it into the capture device. We plugged that into the back of the PC. We booted everything up. We turned it on and black screen. What's Got up, audio. Juan? Thank you for the 999 Super Chat. Still CSP no trying to finesse okay? a capture card and a PC. So yes, he is. Like, yes, he is. He's telling us his life know, what story. Else could I when his uncle inappropriately and touched him. To the point where his like, crackhead like cousin. I'm doing. When he didn't get the Wolverine right. figure. And then he's going to beg for his PC. The limits of, like, the things I can Thank you for the Super Chat. And I will tell you this. I tried one more test during the break. Because I had, I had an idea. I said, you know, maybe. Just on a crazy whim. What if I deleted the video source? What if I completely deleted this as a video source in OBS? And then I opened up and I told OBS, let's auto detect a new video source on the PC, add it fresh and see what happened, okay? And that guy, so you didn't see this. This was not recorded earlier. Here's the results of that test. And I think this is a very telling result, okay? When I did that test, it absolutely did show that the capture device was present, the Avermedia. I added it, and when I did, it gave me a big, fat error, meaning it was capturing the audio, but it was actually telling me now, which it didn't before. It was just showing me a black screen. Now it was outright telling me with these red error messages, no video received, okay? So that, we, t we tried every cable. We tried every test. That tells me that capture device is shot. There is something in it that's been damaged over the years, probably from excessive use and possibly even overheating, that it just will not do video anymore. It's done. Stick a fork in it. It will never work again. Maybe if I sent it off for repair. Like, to seriously, like, you've been sneaked this in all fucking stream. Like, why? why? I, like, I've never done anything to for you. For my intents and purposes, that thing is done. It's just, there's nothing I can do about this. Okay? So during the break, I brought the capture card downstairs. I placed it on top of my kitchen countertop. I found like a nice little, like 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 a tissue, like a little sheet, a tarp, and I covered it with a tissue. Like da da da. 
da, 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 da. And then I took my meat tenderizer. I smashed the fuck out of it and the pieces flew everywhere. Okay, I didn't do that part. I didn't give it a funeral. I was pretty upset though. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm very upset. All right. And so then basically at the end of the last stream, and by the way, uh, I will shout out a couple of these contributions in a second because a couple contributions came in. Thank you for that. Um, what we were trying to figure out, at basically at the tail end of today's earlier stream, all right, what are the options that I have, all right, before we can figure out what exactly to do here, all right? Now, I need to explain this because many of you will not understand it, okay? My PC is the same PC from 2014. My PC has never been upgraded. My PC has not been updated. I still have Windows 8 on this PC, okay? I never upgraded it. I'll be honest with you. Here's what happened. In 2016, this was when they were offering to everyone, hey, free upgrades of your PC from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Everyone can do it. And there were two things that happened at that time that really did the I'm the one who just filed thing. for bankruptcy. I basically I'm the one like how they like that. Like I told you guys, this was actually me. the most solid consistent working PC I've ever owned in my life. I didn't. It didn't crash. It didn't shut down on me. It didn't have errors or blue screens. It basically had nothing wrong with it at all. If you have a system that's consistently working and you need it to work consistently every day for your job, why would you risk messing with that setup that you know is working, right? I didn't see any... I gotta pause here. No, you moron. No. No, 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 no. You constantly always should be checking your setup just to make sure that it's performing properly. And if you notice something isn't working properly, like your capture card doesn't work when your cat walks in your head, then you need to replace it. That's what you need to do. It's not, oh, well, it, it hasn't exploded yet. So it, it hasn't exploded yet, so I'm not going to do anything. This is the idiot that uh, has a car that has have over 10,000 miles that's a 2017 car and has never changed the oil on it because of course the car hasn't you know blown up yet that's his excuse for not doing any maintenance and that's why phil you fail you fail at everything you do in your life possible 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 positive benefit from upgrading this thing from windows 8 to windows 10 at the time it looked like it was working fine why would i care Right. Also, keep in mind, at the time when those upgrades were being offered, it was only not even two years old. So not even a two year old PC. Why do I have to upgrade it already? It's already fine. Let it run on Windows 8. OK. Because Windows 8 was garbage. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to be honest with all of you again. Previously, my original PC that I bought to do gameplay and stuff, I bought way back in like maybe 2010, 2011. Then this new PC I bought in 2014. I was fully under the impression at the time that I was going to continue to make good money on YouTube and Twitch. I was going to continue to be able to pay my bills. I wasn't going to get into major problems. And basically in another few years, if something did happen, all right, oh, the PC's no good anymore. I would just get a new one, right? That's That was my mindset. Failure to pro properly plan. That That's Phil's life. Failure to properly plan. And of course, that was a pretty stupid 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 mindset because when you have opportunity to maybe do something free or do an upgrade why not do it but for me i was being dumb oh, the camera's and up. i thought oh this will the not be a big deal time, huh? i will just easily be able to upgrade this thing again in the future maybe Hello. another few years like it was 2016 so i thought maybe 2019 i'll just buy another new pc anyway this won't be a big deal it's 2022 and he hasn't done any of that and yet again, he's sitting there and trying to make it seem like this was his old mindset. It's still his same mindset. As I mentioned earlier, he got that extra three grand last November, which he could have took a small amount of that, a portion of it, and bought himself an okay PC, uh, a webcam, a capture card, and been good to go for the next five to ten years. And he did not do that. He just wasted it in Hulk Hogan. WWE Champions, an Xbox Series X for someone that has a gaming PC, which makes no sense, a thousand dollar TV and a monitor and a joystick, shit that he did not need. And yet he's sitting here saying, oh, uh, yeah, this just happened and I'm not prepared for it. Yeah, because you failed to prepare. And then what ended up happening 
was in the course of 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019, my finances fell apart, my debt skyrocketed, I couldn't pay. Yes, five I, you're correct. And I ended up declaring bankruptcy in 2020. And this is not the purpose of this stream to talk about the ins and outs of how my bankruptcy worked and why I really had to do it. We've already talked about this many times over the years. Bad financial choices on my part. Trolls messing with my livelihood, which concretely hurt. There's a, 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 a cornucopia of factors that led to all this happening. All right. But basically, I was in a situation where I thought I would be fine. And then I wasn't fine. And next thing you know, I couldn't really afford the things that I used to be able to afford. And I ended up with a PC here for eight plus years that I thought I would have upgraded in three to four, just being honest, okay? And there's not much I can do about that, okay? So. 40-year-old man here. 40-year-old man. I, 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 I had a conversation. I have conversations all the time with my girls, my kids, and I talk to them always about planning and setting money aside and you never know i mean things are good now but you just never know and i try to give impose them those those advice and thank god they listen but if my daughter were to ever bring home someone like this i i i think i would have to disown her honestly someone so ill prepared for his life like this 40 year old man would just have me lose it i, I would feel like i was a total failure as a father for allowing my daughter to be with someone like Phil. All that being said, guys, here we are. It's 2022, the end of 2022. We're about to start 2023. I have a Windows 8 PC, all right? And I can't upgrade it. And I, Well, okay, that's a lie. Allow me to explain what's going on. Because you might say, wait a minute. You got a Windows 8 PC. All right. So why not just buy a new capture device tonight, have it show up tomorrow or Wednesday, and then just start from right there. What's the big deal? Ah, good question. Because my PC runs on Windows 8, it doesn't really work with most modern capture devices, at least from what they say on paper. So allow me to explain after I take a sip of my coffee. <sighs> if you're gonna buy any new piece of computer hardware, the manufacturer is going to try to convince you to buy the latest operating system, the latest configuration of whatever. Why? Because that's mostly what they assume the vast majority of customers will be using. And they assume, and that's really what they're designing their new hardware for, that's what they've tested it on properly, okay? Now, for example, just because you're buying a piece of computer hardware and it says, oh, Windows 10 required, doesn't actually mean that it won't work on Windows 8. It just means that's what they're guaranteeing you it's going to work with, okay? If you, if you buy a piece of equipment and you try to work it on Windows 8, but they only said on the box it works with Windows 10, all of a sudden, legally, they're off the hook. They can't say it was false advertising. They can't say there was any problem. Hey, we told you Windows 10. You should have listened to us. And yet, Phil would be the one that would sit there and call these um, companies scumbags, morons, and so on if he were to use... A device that said Windows 10 required on his Windows 8 device, he would sit there and have a shit fit and blame them, right? That That's what Phil would do. Right? But a lot of the times there is equipment that wouldn't normally say that it works with Windows 8, but it might. Same thing with older versions of Windows 2. It sometimes works. Okay? So it's not that it's an outright, there's no way I can buy a piece of equipment right now that would work with my PC. It's that it might not fully work or it might not be guaranteed to work because these companies don't want to make that promise. So essentially, if I were to get any kind of a new capture device, I'm taking a risk unless it outright says on the device works with Windows 8. Problem is, most modern capture devices I would buy today won't say that. I would have to actually go and look for an outdated capture device and there heroin lies the rub. Go on Amazon. Take a look at the devices. Anything that's in stock usually says Windows 10. If you want to get an older capture device, oh, you can get them, but you got to order it from some third-party company. They don't offer quick shipping. You're talking weeks to months to wait. Sometimes there's a premium price involved. Um, I actually found one, which we'll see together tonight. We're going to look at it. They actually have one that's a really highly rated refurb only, and that would come next week, right? So now you're talking, you know, do you want to trust a refurb, right? So here, that that's issue number one. 
having a Windows 8 PC, I'm incredibly limited with what will work with it. It's gonna be hard to find something that I can order quickly that will work with this thing right away like this, okay? So now you might say, okay, well then, why not solve the problem of it being a Windows 8 PC? Why not just make it a Windows 10 PC? Hey, Donald. Hey, Pepman. Thanks for the 10 dollars super chat. Congrats to Jasper for listening. ruining Phil's day. Hey, I man. Big ups. People are attracted to Jasper. Questions I've already answered. This is what always happens on these kind of streams. So please listen to us why I'm giving you this very thorough explanation. Okay. My PC is Windows 8. I did not take advantage of the free upgrade that Microsoft was offering when they were saying you can upgrade for free from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Okay. I didn't do it. Admittedly, is it, was that stupid? Probably, but I didn't do that, okay? So, I no longer am being offered that advantage. I don't can't get Windows 10 for free anymore, all right? I just can't. It's, it's not offered, all right? Now, you might say, no, wait a minute. Well, I know so-and-so who still found a way to do it, and yada, yada, yada. Good for you. Yes, because just like anything with PCs, all right? You can find ways around anything with PCs. Why do you think some people, people love building and modding PCs? Because you can always find a back door. You can always find a workaround. You can find a way to do it. Technically, yes, you right now could still upgrade Windows 8 to Windows 10. If you use an illegal method or a method that's not exactly kosher or what Microsoft wants you to do, that's not going to get support. That if it fucks up your PC, you bricked it yourself and good luck fixing it because no one's going to give a shit. Okay, so here's the thing. This is my work PC. This is not my, oh, my fuck around PC. And if I brick it, big deal. If I crush this PC right now, I can't work. I can't even do this stream for you guys if I ruin my PC. So I can't ruin my PC. Do you understand? It's a. This is, he's talking about an eight year old PC. Who gives a shit? If you ruin it, you're not going to ruin it. You get yourself a $10 Microsoft Windows 10 key for 10 bucks, and you install it. You essentially just turn off, shut off your antivirus, you install it, turn your antivirus back on, and you're fine. It's that simple, Phil. It's not that difficult. A huge risk for me to find a way to try to upgrade this PC from Windows 8 to Windows 10. All right? It just is. It's a giant hey, Rob, yes, I do. I do watch this content. Even if it works. Even if the upgrade works fine, are you aware, and I don't know if you are, are you aware that sadly, there may be a lot of components, software, and other things that I've been running for the past eight years that will immediately not work? Are you aware of that? Probably not. But that's the thing. When you upgrade to a new Windows, all of a sudden, things that used to always work have a funny way of no longer working. What if this microphone decides to stop working? What if my Focusrite Scarlet UI capture box thingy converter here says, I don't want to work anymore, turn off. What if this webcam, which actually is an outdated webcam, even though it's new and I just got it, it's technically an outdated webcam. What if that doesn't feel like working with Windows 10? What if some of the hardware that I've got inside this PC right now, the old graphics card, right? Or, you know, any of this, the motherboard. Ah, oh, just don't feel like working with Windows 10, <laughs> right? So all this to beg a for a new PC. All this, is. that's what he's doing. This from, from 8 to 10, okay? Could make giant issues for me Um, that I really don't know. It, it would be one thing, okay, if I were a super tech savvy guy in 2022, maybe this wouldn't be a big deal, right? If I was actually into computers still and I was into troubleshooting and all that. I'm not. I've been out of the PC building world for some 15 years. I don't know what I'm doing. I would probably be just, you know, ruining shit. If I tried to fix this shit myself, I'd probably just make it worse. And that's, I'm nervous. This is a $3,000 PC that... It was $3,000 eight years ago. It's worth $5 now, Phil. And mind you, you wouldn't be in this position if you wasn't such a turd and you would have taken uh, Review Tech USA's offer for that PC, which would have been perfect for you. That PC would have done everything you needed to do and last you at least five to eight years without any additional upgrades. I mean, it had a graphics, it had a 2080, a 2080 Ti graphic card at 16 mega, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It had, uh, I think it had an AMD 9 series uh, uh, CPU. Uh, all this because you couldn't put your pride aside and take someone's offer for a PC. I need on a daily basis to do my job. If I ruined this thing if i brick it 
What the fuck do I do when I can't I cannot buy a replacement? There's no option to buy a replacement right now. We'll talk about that in a moment, by the way. Hey, Andrew, but I might be back on Real Talk. That's what I'm looking at. I'm just like... I'll talk about it later. I, I just don't know how to how to do it. Like, do I take the chance of going online tonight, looking at what's available on Amazon? Ed, yeah, what you have is perfectly fine. That would run on Amazon every every current game right now without problems. Days. If they don't work, big deal, I'll return them. Because I can. Actually, there's a store nearby. It's a Kohl's. They allow for quick returns. You just bring it right there. They'll return it right back. You get your credit in like a day or two. It's not like it's a giant risk for me if I buy it. I have to throw it out or anything like that. Right? But for me, I'm nervous. What if, you know, I buy them and they don't work? Now what do I do? Now it don't seem like I have many options. Then it seems like the only option I would have left is to actually try to upgrade my PC to Windows 10. And again... There, there's no guarantee that it's going to work. The upgrade in itself. First of all, there's no no fully legal path that I see to upgrade. Okay? It doesn't matter what some fucking guy on Znet wrote or what some fucking Joe... Bl oh, yeah, I know a guy that just upgraded 15 PCs from Windows, Windows XP to Windows 11 for free. Didn't you hear? Yeah, okay, sure you did. It, it, enough of the bullshit. That's right, Big Chief. I just, yeah. I literally just he can get himself a $500 and no PC. There's no legal way to do it. And, and that will do everything he needs to do. For, if right? he wants to pay enough, pay eight hundred bucks and get a good PC, anything, and then another hundred fifty for capture card. You have to buy Windows card. Eleven, which they want you, which I don't want. No one wants Windows Eleven. You have to buy Windows Eleven to do the legal upgrade, which is really even worse for everyone because now who knows if anything works on fucking Windows Eleven these days? Or probably nothing, <laughs> right? I have a Windows 11 laptop. It runs perfectly fine. It's just like 10. The only difference is some of the GUIs. It's made more for uh, touch pads and stuff. That That's all it is. But you can actually change it and do a classic look that makes it look just like Windows 10. So, you know, enough of the bullshit. People's claiming all this fantasy world shit. Okay. Uh, it's not true. There's no easy way. There's no guaranteed foolproof way to go from Windows 8 to 10 today. And it's not free. And it's not still supported by Microsoft. That's all nonsense. Yes, there's workarounds that people have found. Because they fucking stay hours on the internet. Fucking in with things and shit. Now, I don't have this time. I'm not going to brick my fucking PC. Alright? So. Yeah. That's the situation we're in right now. Alright? Again, with no... He's such a moron. It, it just is. Outcome here. In my opinion, it just I just is. don't think there's an easy solution to the problem. All right? I don't see. I think either way, there's risk involved. I think one way is a little less risky than the other, but still doesn't guarantee that something's going to work. It also doesn't guarantee that I can even do anything tomorrow. Depends on how things go tonight. We'll be fine because we're going to look in a minute see what's online, right? So you know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff, all these factors involved. There's no easy fix here to this situation. And like I even said earlier, this is what I was trying to say at the beginning of this stream. This stream is not me coming on stream and saying, hey guys, throw money at me. Because if you give me tons of gifted money, I just buy a new PC. And yet he it's mentions it, what, for the fifth right time? Right now, I had unlimited funds. I probably still couldn't get a PC relatively quickly, right? I don't think so. Because I would probably want to get one that has all the shit that I want. And... If I get oh, it, this it's probably got to be built. It's got to be, you know, mailed. It's probably going to take weeks. When I built, when I got this PC in 2014, it took three weeks. Yeah, it wasn't overnight. If I get a pre-built, perhaps, maybe if I found a pre-built PC that already was sitting in a warehouse and I felt like it was good enough for my needs, then maybe it could be an overnight or a two-day deal, right? Even then, when... The Best Buy has MSI uh, pre-built that you can buy that are a thousand times better than what he currently has now and he can buy them for 700 bucks right now. They have them in stock. Have them in stock. And you can get a minimum of a 2060 graphics card. And you're looking at an AMD 7 series uh, CPU. When the new PC shows up, guess what I would have to do? I would have to load all the new stuff, load OBS on there, try to get all my settings, all the things set up, get all the hardware working with it again. It's going to be days of work. So there is no throw money at it and fix the problem solution to the problem I have right now. I want you all to understand that. There's some idiots coming on here tonight. Oh, I'm just going to, oh, Phil just wants money. And Phil said, fuck your mother. No, really. Go tell your mother she should be slapped for having you. Because the shit that you say on the internet is so fucking stupid. She should be embarrassed that you're so dumb. The dumb shit that people say on this fucking planet, on the internet. That's right, it's your boy. He, get he, out of here. 
No, that's not Unless what it comes from his brain or attached to it, uh, to an analog tip, he doesn't stupid. listen. It'd be so disrespectful to come on someone's stream when they're actually in a situation the day after fucking Christmas when all they want to do is put out content and entertain people on the internet because it's their uh, job. Uh, now he's using the Christmas card. Next he used Jesus next. What would Jesus do? Jesus would tip me. Need your help in a oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus, give me, give me a PC, Lord. Devices and options. No, it's not about money. If you think that, here's what I want you to do. Go to the bathroom, open the toilet, put your head in, and fucking flush. Big man over Probably here. Probably the only way you'll get an intelligent thought out of your head as it flushes down the fucking bowl. Yeah, wishing harm on someone is actually okay. a bannable <laughs> offense Excuse on me. YouTube. So, someone report and a stream. Ladies a few shout outs to do here. And then what we will do is we're going to discuss options of what we can do. All right? That's what I'd like to do here tonight. And again, Thank you to everyone who's supporting this stream. This was supposed to be a normal gameplay stream that people... Wait a minute. He just talked about all the options. What's there to talk about? Unless you want to talk about it and see if people will fund those options. That's the only, per that's the only reason why you're continuing this charade, Phil. Absolutely would have shown up for and supported. And I can't do much about that when I don't have the option to do so. Now also, not only are we going to look for options on what to do to fix the issue. But since no matter what the options are, likely I can't get a quick fix, we may need to talk about what I can do tomorrow. I actually have a pretty interesting idea that I'd like to run by you guys. That I'd like to run by you guys for tomorrow. And I'm interested to see what you guys think and if you would come by and enjoy a stream that's a little different. React content. Okay? Excuse me. Bring back Phil Reacts. How exactly would I react to anything when I can't capture it? My name is Richard. I am Dark Side Phil. Oh my okay. god. I really so, need to make this fucking money. This idiot really doesn't I know that he that can money. use your really PlayStation 5 as a PC. Why am I poisoning? He is so <laughs> stupid. He can go to his PS5. Alright, I'll talk after the song finish. Okay, so please nobody renew anything, I mean, redeem anything. So he is so slow that he doesn't know that his PS5, uh, that his PS5 can stream uh, content directly without a PC or a capture card. If you guys ever caught my cat, my, my stray stream, I did that directly from my, from my PS5. You can link your YouTube account through your PS5 and stream directly. All you need is an internet connection, it's that simple. He could have done his God of War playthrough that way today, but he's just too dumb and ignorant and too slow to actually Google or ask someone. He can use his PS5 and stream uh, YouTube, so he can do a react to a video or whatever through his PS5. It's not that difficult. He can just do this, stream the video using his uh, PS5. He can connect his mic, everything straight to his PS5, and it would stream great. But he's too slow and lazy to research these things. He is. He is. He just he just is. And that's the reason why. And someone mentioned it earlier. I think it was Five Eyes that said, this is the man that owned a BMW and didn't change his oil because he thought BMW should call him and tell him, oh, by the way, you need to change your oil. Let's do some shout outs. First of all, barely legal. Oh, hold on. Alex Roberts did an insulting super chat, so I'll just ignore it. The cat did a super chat talking about a credit card company. Eat these nuts. Barely Legal gifted five memberships to the ch to the channel. Thank you so much, Barely Legal. Just so you guys know, memberships that are that are counting now towards January's monthly goal. So even if you do memberships now, they actually count towards the next goal. So congratulations to Cody Omega, Cheetah Man, Golden Colts Backup, Cabbage, and Play Tower of I'm going to forward this a little bit. Congrats to all of you. And thank you, Barely Legal, for the channel support. Jasper Kitty did a super chat saying, I broke your capture card. What are you going to do? Nothing, because <laughs> I don't blame Jasper. The capture card think was on Jasper. his last legs for many, many years. Sure, maybe it would have lasted a little longer if he didn't lay on it. But at the same time, this thing was bound to, to, to break one day or another. It's not a big deal. Okay? It's just not. It's not a huge deal. We just need to find a solution. Okay? Uh, he just admitted right there that he knew this was going to happen and yet failed to prepare. Failed to prepare. Like if you ever watch Walking Dead and whatever, and you know, you have those people that are just don't know what the hell to do, don't have any common sense. That's Phil. Phil would be uh, 
Phil would be uh, zombie number two because they would find him and he'd be so clueless and he would become zombie number two and then literally probably uh, die three seconds later. Uh, Pixel CPC, re up their membership for 18 months. Sorry about the card. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much, Pixel CPC. And two last names also. Uh, became a channel supporter and says, Tom's Hardware has a guide. You can get it free. Yeah, we already talked about this. I'm not wasting my time on your nonsense. So, all right. Jasper Kitty is the last Super Chatter. Very nice. Okay, now. We got a few tips to shout out, and then uh, and then we'll get started on solutions. All right. So, some tips that have come in. I got a two dollar tip from Lady Charisma. So here are some recommendations. Actually, the first one that you're recommending, I already know about. There's two versions of it, and we'd have to actually have to talk about that because sadly, that Elgato, the new version, would not work. Uh, at least, again, wouldn't work if what they're saying is true. We got 100 likes. Thank you, pimps. Celebratory H60 bubble blow. X claims it only works with Windows 10. Now, there's an older version called the HD60 SRS Plus. Those claim they work with Windows 8, but they're outdated. You can't buy them new. The only way you could buy it is a refurb that it's going to show up anytime soon. And even then, the refurb is saying it wouldn't even show up until... Uh, uh, Big Chief, Thursday, you are 100% correct. Which isn't that bad, especially because Wednesday is my day off anyway. But it's a refurb, and that's a chance you're taking. Buying a refurb and not knowing if it's going to work or not. Obviously, like I said, not real risk. Yeah, you're right. They probably think he's, think he's one of them. Because it's, it's you know, my, my local uh, Kohl's takes uh, Amazon returns. Okay. So, thank you, Lady Charisma, for the first suggestion. Your other suggestion is an EVGA XR1 Lite. And they're saying that there's a bare bones. I guess we'll have to look into that one, okay? So, I'll, you know what I'll do? I will save your tip here, and I will not delete the email, so that way I have the links from Lady Charisma, and we can maybe look at those together. Like I said, I know the HD, uh, the HG60, your HD60. I pray that he or, walks away with $20 in tips. Okay. Please, Lord. Jesus, now, Satan, Buddha, okay. Allah, please, Lord, allow him to walk away with 20 bucks in that tips today. Stress, honestly. When you get stressed, my neck, my back tend to hurt. Uh, let's see here. There's a dollar tip. Gee, I wonder. Uh, He's stressed because he ain't getting them tips. I'm sure one of the whales will come out. You mocked me last week for telling you to upgrade your stuff. Okay. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. See, the capture card from 2012 was never going to last my guy. Okay, good for you. By the way, you can stream from your PS5. Okay, let's go ahead and let's address that because people were suggesting that earlier today. Let's address that option. We, I mean, we weren't gonna we weren't gonna do suggested options yet, but let's do it. We might as well get this out of the way. No, I cannot stream from my PS5 or my Xbox Series X. Why not? Is the option there? Yes. Am I uh, able to stream from those directly to YouTube if I would like to? Yes. Are they viable options for a professional streamer? No. They're not viable options. Why not? Because you may not know this. Because, it, you know, maybe you don't do this for a living. If you use those systems, number one, the, the quality of the video is poor. It's not full quality, 1080p, 60 frames. It's it's a, a degraded, compressed version. It doesn't look good. That's the I, I don't know if I can last a whole stream because the shit he says is just pissing me off. You can stream 1080p, 60 FPS on a PS5 and it looks perfectly crisp. Anyone in this stream can go right now and look at my stray playthrough and look at that quality stream. It looks a thousand times better than anything Phil did. And I stream directly from my PS5 to YouTube with no goddamn problem. So what he's saying, he's talking out his goddamn ass. He has no clue what the hell he's talking about. Okay? Never listen to this man for any advice. Uh, that's my advice to you. If he gives you advice, do the opposite. Number one, just being honest, okay? 
Number two, when you use those systems, you have absolutely positively no control over the, over your presentation. For example, ooh, somebody tipped. Let me play an animation. Oh, there's no animations. Oh, oh, someone did a super chat. Here's a nice animation to say. Oh, there's no animations. The PS5 is linked to the stream elements. You get the same animations. You get the same overlays. Everything's exactly the same, Phil. But yet you're too lazy to go and do a check for yourself to see if that happens. Oh, let's get that person on the leaderboard. Oh, there's no leaderboard. Oh, oh, look, here's an asshole going crazy, saying nasty things. Guess what? Even that, even that, the moderation and everything is different. It's it, because basically when you stream through a console, everything is, is going through the console first, then basically being broadcast to YouTube. It changes everything. You don't have control over your stream. You basically have control over the gameplay, and that's about it. There's no easy way to moderate it. You cannot run pop-ups. You cannot do shout-outs. It all goes away. So what exactly would be the point of me streaming if I can't be a professional streamer? That Those systems that are built into the PS4, PS5, or the Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles are for casual gamers who want to just be a silly stream for my friends to watch or maybe casually. That's not... There are zero, and I mean this zero professionals on the internet who do this for a living who use that built-in shit that's just like you want the option the absolute bare bones ability to do it with absolutely nothing to make it professional quality that's what you use and that's fine okay streaming through ps5 it streams the gameplay everything looks the same you can even link it to your stream elements it'll be perfectly fine if you need mo to use moderation tools you essentially just have your phone, like I'm doing right now. I have a phone right here in front of me, my phone, where I'm reading the chat on the stream, and I'm doing my chatting through there to my phone. I see everything that would be for, I can moderate, I can ban people, I could do whatever the hell I want to do off my phone. It's not that difficult, Phil. Now, what this is all for is a fucking dance and show so that Phil can just basically say, the only option is for a new PC. I need you guys to tip to give me money. That's all this is for. That's why he's doing this song and dance. He can either go get a capture card and install it and just shut the fuck up and just move on with his life. But no, he wants to go through all these options and then when people give him suggestions, he wants to poo-poo on them so that at the end he can say, well, guys, we tried, but the only viable option is for you to buy me a PC. For the common person who wants to stream, absolutely positively let that be a good a good viable option but not for someone like me it doesn't work and everyone i'm forwarding it because he's just annoying the shit viable. out of me okay update your pc to windows 10 false that's completely false you'd rather just panic and have an extended pre-stream instead false completely false so thank true you super chat wrong hold wrong. on let me rewind that wrong going troll idiot so you can go fuck yourself please kiss my ass and then on to the next uh Dark steel citadel structures built from dark steel yeet to neither salt nor age. You know, I wish I had known about those dark steel structures a little earlier. Maybe I would have built a PC and a capture device out of dark steel. Anyway, this is actually uh, the person who does those tips that are that sound like uh, like Magic the Gathering cards or whatever. I think that's what that is. So thank you for that. Couple more shout outs. Um, Jonas did a super chat saying you can stream from a console. I already said you can't do that. You can easily update your PC to Windows 10. S false. That's someone, false. Someone should go in and mention that that cat has a PC, PC gaming said, PC. Why does he use that? False. So thank you for the super chat. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Congratulations on being wrong. Three yeah, no, I saw you. But duty's old. Duty's challenge. 47. Duty's old man. Like you have to be like, so the sky is green, grass is purple. And I have a brain in my head. If you made that statement, that would also be similar to what you just said. Congratulations. Uh, Shake My Hand 420 became a member tonight. Thank you very much, Shake My Hand 420. Appreciate that. Uh, Connor X Crash did a super chat. So Microsoft, bleh. try this again. Microsoft provides a legal way to upgrade Windows 10 for free. Flash the install into a flash drive and upgrade your PC. I'm also Pixel CHC. You have two accounts. Oh. Um, now I did see something about that online. They're saying if you want to do it, you, in fact, that's what they're saying. If you want to upgrade at all from an older version of windows, like windows eight to 10, you have to use a flash drive supposedly. Like it's not even, 
download the software and have the software do it for you. Um, that doesn't work anymore. That did work at one point and that doesn't work anymore. But also, it's not even that easy for what I'm to understand. I, I have base Windows 8, okay? Apparently, you have to upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows full 8.1, which has a bunch of updates in itself that may not work properly. And then once you're running fully on Windows 8.1, okay, then you have to do this flash drive update that then could possibly flash your PC from 8.1 to 10. It doesn't guarantee that it will work because it's actually not really legal. It wasn't intended by Microsoft that this was, anyone would be doing it this way. They just thought that everyone would be doing the free upgrade in 2016 and then that would be the end of it. Like they thought that would literally be it. That now all these people doing it are doing it in this backdoor way. That's not the way that was intended by Microsoft. Therefore, it's not supported. And if anything goes wrong, you literally brick your PC. There's no way to reserve, revert it back. So that's a pretty big liability on me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, What's up, the Brian? Cat don't Super have... Jack, why don't you take fish oil or prune oil tonight? What? The... I couldn't. I was trying to get to my fish and prune oil, but my long dangly testicles kept clacking between my knees because they hang so long down, and it was excruciating. <laughs> okay. I'm going to skip a little bit because I, I fell thing. a little behind. We're start I looking a behind. for more viable options here. All right, of what to do. All right, there is one other thing that should be discussed because some people are already saying it tonight. It's absolutely ludicrous. So let's address the elephant in the room. We got some people on the stream tonight that are literally saying, are you ready for this one? <clears throat> and I quote, I quote, <clears throat> Phil, why don't you just turn your webcam towards your television and have your webcam Record the video off your TV like you used to do back in the day before you did direct capture, okay? I'm not kidding you. There are some people actually saying that tonight, okay? Now, I know you, this may sound shocking to some of you who have logical minds like mine, um, as if, you know... Nearly a decade ago. Listen, listen, Phil, we love you. We care about you. All we want to do is see you succeed. Phil, please upgrade your setup. Stop using your stupid camera. I'm pointing it at your television. For the love of God, listen to us, you fucking imbecile. Improve and do your capture now. Okay. Now, that was 10 years ago, nine years ago ish. And then in 2013, I went to direct capture. All right. Now, even though, even with all that reasoning, all right, allow me to actually give you an even better reason why it makes no sense to do this, shall I? Um, back then, you may not realize this. You both of you probably don't know this. Back then, it wasn't as simple as oh, I had a webcam and I pointed at my TV. And this all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward because this is just utter was. garbage. Originally, I did have a crappy digital capture. Even with all that, people were telling me the quality is shit. It's, what, what do they say? Fake it till you make it? I didn't have technological skill. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just fucking around with a camera. And you still the don't. And shit, putting out that shit. Or even a laptop that has Windows 10, you should upgrade ASAP. It's only going to get harder. I do have a laptop with Windows 10, but it's not a, a good laptop for capturing. Like, we already looked into it earlier today, and I read the people the stats of the laptop, and they're like, yeah, that's not going to cut it. You know, for 1080p 60 frames, it's not good enough. You need a better P you need a better laptop. This isn't a high-end laptop. This is a, a cheaper laptop, which is fine. That's exactly what I needed for my my purposes. This laptop is to monitor chat, do shout outs, update Twitter, go to my forums, and update or do a forum post on it. You know what I mean? That's what this laptop is for. This is not, oh, I'm going to stream and capture and do all that shit off the laptop or anything like that. Nor do I want a really, if I'm going to get it, I want a PC. I don't want a laptop to do that. Laptops are limited. I don't need a portable computer to do that. I'm never going to be moving the computer out of this room. Why do I need a laptop for that, right? So And, and no, Jez Spirit, listen, I appreciate the dollar tip. Thank you. And I appreciate the sentiment. No, I'm not asking for that tonight. I'm not saying, hey, everyone, so my capture device broke, so everyone throw me money so I could buy a whole new PC and shit. That's not the purpose of this stream, okay? Please understand that. Okay, uh, Condor X Crash had done one more super chat saying I upgraded Windows 7 to 10. 
Upgrading for Windows 8 shouldn't be an issue. You can upgrade without the flash drive. Well, again, again, let me reiterate, all right? Again, I, upgrading to Windows 10 is not necessarily out of the question. I want to say that. This is not, I refuse to do it. Okay? That's not me saying I refuse to do it. What it's me saying is I don't want to do it unless I have to do it because it's too much of a liability that I will destroy this PC. Or I will basically make it a ton of issues here where half my shit won't work. What if this, this what if this microphone doesn't work? This, ca this audio box thing, I don't know what it's called, the Scarlet doesn't work. What if my graphics card stops working? What if any of the components in there that I don't even know what the fuck is in there, an old hard drive or whatever that's already having issues, what if that stops working? What if any of the things that I have plugged in right now to the PC just stops working? Now, how do I fix it? I, I'm already on Windows 10. I'm not reverting back, so you know what I mean? I got to figure this out. Now, here we go. Here comes the can of worm. That's exactly what it is. It's like opening Pandora's box. Like... I have the possibility of something nice, but more than likely, a bunch of fucking evil demons are going to come out of there and just fuck me. And I don't like being fucked by evil demons, just so you guys know. Some people might like that shit. I'm not into that. All right? I'm, I, you know, I like things how they are. <laughs> okay? Okay. Windows 10 loses support and updates in 2025. Yeah, well, Windows 8 lost support now. Windows 8 is no longer supported. I got the, I actually got the message and everything. Even, even in my browser, Google uh, Chrome said, Google Chrome is no longer supported in Windows 8, so you can never get an upgrade to Google Chrome again. <laughs> you can't, like, nothing is updating anymore. They've all, like, limited themselves, right? Okay, fair enough, Slurms McKenzie. Fair enough. I'm glad he brought this up, actually. So he says... Didn't you find other capture cards in your closet during your closet cleanup? Indeed, I did. This one's an internal one. This one's an external one. They don't do 1080p. They're so old. They're like 2012 models. The absolute highest they'll do is 720p. And the worry is that because they're over 10 years old, that whatever the, the, the shit is that they use, the codex or whatever it might be, that the video files will be ginormous because it doesn't have any of the modern compression of anything, you know, from the last 10 fucking years. And it's going to be insanely outdated. Basically, these are worth like $5 each. They're just junk. They're so monstrously outdated that they're probably going to be nothing worth using, okay? This one I wouldn't. This one's internal. This is exactly right, what the I same missed. Card, but I had to go to the uh, it get some even water. Make sense to fuck with the internal at this point. So this I could probably just like you know throw out the window. All right. If I was gonna do it, I'd probably just do the external USB 3.0 here. Um, and uh, you know, again, it's not it's not out of the question to try using if we can't find a more viable, better option. Obviously, the whole goal here is not. Oh, let me just find a 720p solution. No, there's that's not what I want. I want a 1080p how I was doing. I don't want to go back now because my thing broke. I want to find something else I could do I that's 1080p. That I, really I don't do want, want you know, money. if we can't Someone find knows. something 1080p Electric for bill, weeks and weeks on end, and bill. this is our temporary solution, that's one thing. That's. Hey, uh, Sunlight Sky, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. When are you going to offer memberships? I want to be a dead head or a for duty. You're already a dead head. Um, I'll talk about that in January when I start streaming again. I got some plans. I just got to, you know, straighten out some things and i've been saying that for a while my apologies for that just super busy but uh come january i'll have more time and i can focus on that but uh thank you again i appreciate it that's fine but this is not the solution it doesn't even do what i'm doing now this is not the answer to the question this is maybe the band-aid and then later on we got to find this thing to stitch you understand your whole life is a band-aid okay Phil. fair enough All right, I'm going to jump forward real quick. I've never seen. It just blew up on my Now we're all caught up. Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus Stream 2 Victory. I think I actually saw this one on Amazon. He's saying that it says it seems to be compatible with Windows 8.1. But I don't have Windows 8. Seal, you are completely correct. 
technically it should still work with Windows 7 or Windows 8. It actually says it works with Windows 7. If it works with Windows 7, it should work with Windows 8. It th I think it just says 8.1 because what they're trying to say is it'll work with Windows up to 8.1, right? I think that's, that's what they're getting at. Um okay, I, I want to translate a little bit here for the Phil Pignosis here. So essentially what he's doing is gauging tips and he's only at $9. So his whales, ha his whales haven't come out. I guess they whaled out for him during the streams and stuff. Uh, so he's waiting to see how support comes in. And then depending on that is what we'll see at the I think at the end, if support's low, he's going to be like, woe is me. I don't know what to do. I need help, blah, 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 blah. And then he may drop the whole PC, you know, needing a PC. We, we should just bite the bullet, do it now. Knowing that he probably has the money to do it, but he's hoping that if he can get the dents to kind of chip in more to pay for a good portion of it, he won't have to eat all the money. I think that's what he's doing here. So uh, if he has what, less than an hour to go on the stream, uh, he has about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. He can't keep dragging this on. And tips say low, we'll, we'll, we'll start seeing desperate Phil. Um, here, let me take a look here. This person even is, would actually show up tomorrow. Probably not. We'll probably, it's too late now. What am I talking about? It's 8.20 PM Pacific time. There's no way I'm getting this tomorrow. I guess the earliest I could get this is Wednesday or Thursday. Average media, yeah. Hold on a second. I built gaming PCs. I built maybe, maybe ten of them, options. and every single one of them, I've gotten a ten dollar Microsoft key uh, for Windows ten. Installed it and never had a single problem. Right. He's at nine dollars for tips. Uh, Live Gamer Portable Two Plus. There it is. Yes, I could see. I could buy this myself. He can. He can get a. He can get an Elgato. He can get some type of USB right now plug and play, 1080p uh, capture card for 50 bucks on Amazon. There it is. And again, if this is a temporary fix, why spend all that money? Why spend $130 on a capture card that you're going to end up replacing again? Just spend 40, 50 bucks on one and then just... Oh, definitely. That leg shake is going to be shaking. Oh, my Lord. The sex box are invaded. See, the thing is, I know it's Ever Media. I know it'll likely just work with my setup anyway, which is nice. All he needs is to get a plug and play. Plug and plays work with everything. He sh it, it, just because he has Windows 8, it should still work. Everything is compatible. It's all PC, Intel, you know. Ultra low latency. But he's just, now, he's just hemming and hawing. And essentially trying to get to I mean, the I fact that, oh, this is just too complicated. Right it's just wasted money. We should just, know, you know, get that PC years, going. Years so no we should get the PC tier, tier 10 regardless. tip go up and running now. You know, it kind of makes sense. I should just say yes anyway. Because even if this doesn't work, at least there's an option on the way. That's better than zero options right now, right? It's low latency plus marketing. It's just marketing of lingo. Ah, that's pretty funny. Actually. And the other thing, too, he doesn't have to do right. no flash and 8.1 windows to then upgrade the 10. No, he basically gets the Windows 10 and does a fresh install. Delete all that shit on your PC and start from scratch. All right, you know what? So, I think I'm going to accept this offer. You're welcome, this, person. this is someone who I absolutely trust. This is someone who has been around for a long time, has supported me over the years. And this is someone who is absolutely offering to give me this right now. Oh, the Dutch this oven brothers. Years can mail it to me right now free of cost. Okay. Won't even pay for the mail it. Won't even pay for I the fee to do that. Option. God, what a such, what a Here pig roach. So, yes. Yes, Rich from Review Tech USA. I will absolutely accept. No, it's not Rich from Review Tech USA. Yeah, no, Rich. <laughs> Rich, Rich no, basically not, said, "F off, homie." Oh, yes, I will accept. Look, he's still talking shit to him. When Rich is would probably be still nice enough to call him and help him through this issue and get it corrected right away. I better right not away. say my address publicly because you guys know that I live in a very private place, and you guys would never know where I live, right? 
Very private. Very, you know. You don't know. No one knows where I live. There's no possible way anyone could know my. Hey Carl, how you doing, Pim? Like that, everyone knows this, correct? <laughs> right. By the way, I'll cut okay. your deal. If we get 150 likes, I will give you more bubbles. We are 131. I totally wasn't doxed. The first fucking week I moved here eight years ago. By the way, he got doxed because he did a kind of a house reveal type of thing and he showed his address that that's how he got doxxed <laughs> it's pretty funny okay hold on he wish he was as successful as rich he wish he had a million subs he wish he had sponsorships just this, like rich he's jealous of them video if they're not watching the stream live right now one more one more like and we get some more bubbles Okay. All righty, 151. It's time for bubble. Stupid bubble time. Stupid thing. So, I have so many people who over the years, all right, have been around and have helped me out in so many different ways, all right? And in particular, there's some people that have been around for a very long time. This this particular person, and boy, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything personal about the person. Oh, I see. Who they are. This person has been around for so long. This is a person who way back in the day, remember years and years and years ago when I moved out here and I was selling collectibles and shit? This is actually one of the people who uh, bought one of my statues for a lot of money and it helped me out at that time when I really needed the money. Um, this is a person who has been an ongoing supporter of mine for a very, very long time. And I really appreciate that this person out of nowhere is making this very generous offer to give me a capture card that looks like it will work with my setup. Uh, it's the same company as the card that I was using. It's just a more updated version. Uh, much like my webcam, let's be honest. This webcam right now, okay, is a webcam that is from a viewer who said, well, I have the more modern version of the webcam you've been using for 10 years. And they provided it and it's beautiful. Look how clear this webcam is. Okay, he realized that he that the tips weren't going to be rolling in. So he's now he probably got this email before the stream and knew about it. Now he's using this as a oh well we have a solution. So essentially, Phil, you got your solution. You can cut the the bull. You can cut the stream if you like, uh, because again, you said this is not about money, right? And if you're just going to continue with the stream to twelve something, you're just going to be rehashing the same thing, right, Phil? Right. So yeah, so he had this option already available to him after the first stream. So when that person sent him an email and said, hey, I got an old capture device that's just sitting in my closet, you can have it. And he said, okay, I'll let you know. And then he wanted to see if the wheels were going to come out and wheel off for him. Cam is compared to the old webcam, correct? It's super good. And back, remember how bad these Christmas lights used to look behind me? You couldn't even see the color. Look, you could see green and red and blue. You could actually see them now. Because this person was so nice, right? So in this particular case, thank you so much to this person. Again, not going to say the name. So I've asked them to send it. Now, it's 8.20 p.m. Likely by the time they send it, probably tomorrow. Even if they overnight it, it might come sometime on Thursday. It may come Friday. So perhaps we still want to look at another option. Perhaps we want to talk about what I should do for the next few days, okay? Allow me to split the part. As you know, I do one... Well, you know what? Should I do a two-hour video? Should I just say, fuck this? Just make it a two-hour... Fuck this. Just make it a two-hour video. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't screw up, though. Because YouTube tends to have a lot of issues with longer videos. Where they stupidly... Oh, your video's long? Watch it sit in processing for 17 hours. You know, because they're stupid. All right. Let's do... Hold on. We're not... We got a shout-out to do. <clears throat> okay? I received a $25 tip. From an anonymous tipper saying, I'm sorry about today. I was actually looking forward to the endgame stuff of God of War. Me too. We got one hour in. We killed two dragons. We killed an optional boss. And then this shit happens, right? Hopefully the whole setup will get updated soon. Stay warm, people. All right. Thank you. The anonymous tip. $25 tipper here tonight. All right. And with that. What's 25 plus 9? 34. I had to use my brain. I don't like using my brain. 
Thank you very much. All right. So here's the deal. <clears throat> okay. Um. Thank you very much to that person because, again, this is my only late stream tonight. Normally, there would have been a second gameplay stream that people would have been able to come and support, and it didn't happen. You know, and I can't tomorrow. There's no gameplay tomorrow. It doesn't matter what. There's no way that this capture device is arriving tomorrow. So there's no gameplay tomorrow at all. So if you guys could support the stream tonight, just thank you in advance. All right. I really appreciate that. Now, here, since we got a replacement device on the way, it's viable that this device may work. May work. I hope so. This person is saying it's in functional condition. They barely use it. It says it works with Windows 8.1. It's the same brand I was using. So all... All everything would seem to point to the fact that this will work, correct? Like you think I think so, right? And why wouldn't it work? So here's a question, a couple questions. Number one, should we put all our eggs in one basket? Should we 100% say, let's trust this to work? All right. Or should we have a backup? This guy. Oh else? my lord, this guy. Do something else. Should we order another one? Um, you know what I'd like to say because hold on a second remember the person that said they're in holiday travel Um, what I'd like to say to them is let's, let's waste money so apparently Phil I doesn't have, have someone sending me a card but once you get home let's talk Thanks for the offer. Because this person is, they're on holiday travel. They might not even be back for a day or two. And then what's the point, you know, I guess we'll have to see. So there you go. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, um, why is my email not updating on my phone? It's weird. Okay, it updated it. That took a while. That was just odd. It took so long. Okay, so anyway. Um, so yeah, I really don't I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket. Because what happens if he this this person, this very generous fan of mine, sends this capture device, it comes in one or two days, we plug the sucker in, the fucking thing won't work, right? Now like, well, I really feel really smart that I sat around doing nothing for two days and uh, now we have no backup, correct? So probably a bad idea. So I guess the question is, do we want to do something as a backup? And I think the answer is probably yes. By the way, thank you for 100 likes on tonight's stream. I don't know why I got 100 likes on tonight's stream. I don't feel like I put out anything of value for you guys, but I will still blow bubbles to say thank you. So this man is going to get something for free that's going to come in the mail probably in a day or two. And he can't wait. So he's going to order another device, which will probably come sooner because you'll get it through Amazon. He'll install it. And if it works, he's good to go. And then he essentially made that person ship him a product that he's not even going to use. And he's going to stick in his closet, make him pay for the shipping because, of course, Phil is not going to reimburse the guy. And basically just say, thanks. And just move on with his life. That's essentially what Phil is going to do here. And he should just simply just wait for the capture. Or tell the guy, no, hold up. I'm going to order one. If it comes in, good. It works. You don't have to send it to me. If it doesn't, just ship it to me then. No, Phil, Phil won't do that. Phil won't do that. He has to have multiple options and spend multiple dollars. Uh, and make other people spend dollars. Because again, the money that he's spending here are the dents money. That's the money that the dents have given him. So, again, you know, Phil's extremely generous when it comes to spending other people's money. Three big ones. They were oddly large. Let's try again. That was much better. I don't know what happened that first time. <clears throat> there we go. I have no idea what happened. Anyway... Thank you for liking the stream. I'm, I'm appreciative that you guys like the content. Daniel, I know they have the it. That this is not what I was intending. Okay. All right. Now, so first of all, do you guys think we should do a backup? Do you think that we should maybe find something that's, you know, maybe on the cheaper side that we can our, our order? We're already getting this Avermedia GC513 Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. That I'm getting. 
Okay, that's showing up soon, within a few days. If not, within two days. I guess we'll see. Okay? Now. What I was looking at on Amazon, I closed it. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I'm smart. I closed it. You fucking idiot. Duh, duh, duh. Close the thing that I was looking at that I needed. Let's try this again. Jeez, I'm dumb. Uh, 1080p. Oh, USB. USB 3.0. Capture. Duh, duh, duh. Here we go. Uh, of course, now you get a million. But the thing is, I need something that I can get within a few A days. dent or is what we call <laughs> Phil's followers. They're dent heads because they must have Here we go. head pro or head trauma to actually follow this idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is actually, so actually the first one that popped up was the Avermedia that I'm getting from the, the viewer. Let's see here. By the way, tip came in. I'll shut down in a moment. Thank you. Um, what am I seeing? Oh, this, I'm sure this $19 one is a good option here. Oh, yeah. 1080p, full 60 frames, Type-C adapter. Ah, uh, it's gonna be good. This is definitely gotta be top of the line stuff right here. Free delivery this Thursday. Oh, getting right on it. That $19 sucker. That reminds me Michael, of, um, correct. Of, you know, many years back here, I had the Wii. And I was trying to do direct capture from the Wii. Why? Because the Wii, I actually have a Model 1 Wii. I've saved it all these years. My Model 1 Wii plays GameCube games. The later Wiis, I don't believe, did that. But I had the older older Wii that would backwards compatible play any GameCube game. So, uh, I try, was trying to find HDMI adapters for that thing. Um, so I could capture. And I bought like four of these fuckers. And none of them worked. They were all shit. And then finally, it was actually, shout out to Kekin. Remember my, my moderator, Kekin, from many years ago before he retired from being a moderator? He said that he had had one, and it was way more on the pricey side. Um, But it worked, and I got it. It was like maybe 50 bucks, and I bought that one as opposed to like these shitty ones, and it worked perfectly, and I never had an issue with it. So, very nice. I like how people are laughing. Like I said, yes, he retired. He didn't want to be a mod anymore. He basically said that he wasn't in real, he wasn't watching my content anymore, and it was a lot of stress being a mod, and he wanted to move on. What's wrong with calling him a retired mod? Why is that funny? What, what should I say? He quit? No, he did. He he officially like said I retire from being a moderator. I don't want to do it anymore, right? What's wrong with that? Why do people laugh? Why is that funny? Why is everything a joke? You know what? Fuck you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? I'm incredibly offended. Fuck all of you. Fuck you all. I'm just kidding. He just didn't want to be a mod anymore. That's retirement. No. Like right now, if I just said, I'm no longer streaming. I've had enough. Good night and good luck, everyone. And I got up and I went like this. HD 1080p 60 frames per second amazing capture device right like what are you crazy so what else do they have here mirror box god he's so boring hey mine of the north star pimp thank you very much for the 10 dollar super chat happy holidays my guy thanks for holding it down this year and keeping tabs on these low cal brothers i appreciate it and thank you guys for watching my content i really do appreciate you guys I need that money i really do by the way there's someone in the uh chat type in the n-word uh, please stop that. If you do it again, you are going to get sent the band world. Real talk. Mirror box. Hmm. There's the Avermedia. See, the, the latest Avermedia, which obviously I would like to get. I, I never had an issue with the Avermedia devices. I think they're very good quality. 
But the latest one is $170, which is fine price-wise. The problem is it says right on it, uh, Windows 10. And I'm like, ah. It's called, if you guys want to look at this, it's Avermedia GC551G2. Really I'm like, almost positive it's Windows 10. It doesn't work with Windows 8.1, which is what I have. I'm almost positive. Midnight Lobster Pimp, Happy New Year's, uh, Merry Christmas, man. I hope you had a very good holiday, man. I appreciate the super sticker, I'm going to call it, I guess. Uh, thank you very much, man. That 1999 is very, very generous of you. And I appreciate everybody that's come out and just been hanging out. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support, for the positivity. Thank you for the uh, engagement. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the celebratory, celebratory, excuse me, celebratory bubble blows. And yeah, pimps, I hope you guys are doing great. Again, Midnight Lobster, thank you, pimp. I appreciate you as always. Same thing here, Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra GC553. Again, it says 4K 60. Thank you again, Melee, man. I hope you're doing well, man. It's $178. Uh, actually, nah, this one's... No, this one will come on Thursday. But again, I'm almost positive. This one says it's it's Windows 8. Or What's up, Berserk? How you doing, Pam? Everyone keeps saying this. Everyone keeps saying the Elgato HD 60S or S+. Plus. You're correct. I looked into it. So if you look at Elgato's, all right? In fact, I will look for this right now. Elgato. I just put on my gunner glasses, okay. real talk. <laughs> yes. The, and I blew bubbles. The, uh, here it is. The 60S Plus, okay? Absolutely, apparently that one is old enough that that one is compatible uh, with Windows 8. However, here's the catch on that one. I'm telling you, if a whale comes out and, get, and drops him a hundred bucks, I may lose it. Duty may lose it. Duty may have to start punching also, walls. Uh, you can get it faster. Yeah, Elgato's the best. I have an Elgato. That's what I have in mind. I have a, a 4K. I have the 4K 120 uh, really kind of skeptical uh, capture, about internal capture card. I have really not had many good experiences in my life with refurbs. I hardly um, use it because I game on PC mostly anyway. The thing so. already failed once, especially with the amount that I'm going to be using it right i'm gonna be using it like all day every day this is not a casually will use this thing you know what i mean what is the chance that a fucking refurb is going to work at any kind of length king's corner says i actually have an elgato hx 60 s plus upstairs but i'm in the uk you won't get it anytime soon if anyone wants to offer me something like that Yes, I will yes, accept he it. Just email me. He's just waiting for the whales. We can talk about it behind the scenes. And I would accept it. It doesn't matter if it comes right away because someone will be sh shipping me something right away, supposedly. Okay. Cool. All right, this person says, this is the same person. They're, he says they're watching the stream right now. They're going to try to ship it to me starting tomorrow. Hey, Math Bear, thank you very much for the final Super Chat, Pimp. Can't guarantee, uh, this is a worthless <laughs> existence you know, depends, you know, of like no T like so boy generated you know, pig OIC. Would but gladly peg this boy into a so, coma cool. daily. Real talk, real talk. I think that uh, cool. right, I, I, I've talked about it before. US, this is not. Oh, this is someone I've talked about it before that I think our boy Phil has struggled with his identity uh, for many many years that that's why he really uh, that loves uh, John Rambo and he gets upset and cries whenever John Rambo is mentioned uh, so yeah definitely uh, so he may be looking for a new John Rambo and OIC just might be it you know in the UK and it's gonna take a week or anything like that but yes to the to Kane's corner if you wanted if that Elgato, absolutely. And, you know, you know what they say. Redundancy is... Hey, Joe, you're totally right. Problem. He is fishing. That's He's just waiting and waiting and waiting for another $100 tip. Because I'm pretty sure if he gets another $100 tip, he'll he'll crack. cut the stream early. So, he'll say, oh, what do I have anything else to say? If you wanted to send uh, it, let's cut the stream and adjourn. That way, if something goes wrong with this one that's coming, we got a backup, correct? Okay. All right, let's so... Yeah, so yeah, I wish if this HD 60s plus if I could order it right now and it would show up in like a two days, I would get it. But it doesn't show up until late 
that first week of January. So, okay, yeah, yeah Kenny's corner. Thank boy, you. Absolutely. Your boy Duty's an old man. Duty is 47. I'll be 48 sometime next year. Uh, yeah, I sound really young. Uh, I mean, not going to do a face reveal, but if you see me, I, I look like I'm in my 30s. Most people think I'm really young. Uh, and I talk young. I got all my hair. It's nice and dark. I got a nice full beard, nice and dark. Um, the only time I look like an old man is if I'm running. Because, you know, the back and the hips and the legs are giving way because, you know, you're just getting old, so. He's going to test it on his laptop first. As long as it works, he's probably going to send it. That's fine. Jade, no problem. I know you're not feeling good today, Jade. You know you know what, Jade? Wow. I just realized something, Jade. What a day to not feel good because you missed nothing. <laughs> of all the days to not feel good, you <laughs> missed... I did <laughs> one hour got away. <laughs> you didn't miss a damn well, thing. So you could be dying. Was the day but it's all about my good. streams. Today was the day. All right. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. You'll chill, you'll chill and feel better. All right? Welcome, Derek. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Nice Christmas dinner. Hot pot. Christmas hot pot. Yummy. Sounds good, huh? Yeah, I don't know where I get them from. Bruzy, no, I mean, no, my no, grand. No, oh, well, actually, Bruzy, my we, my. You look the best buyer. I, I did. I did uh, mention this. I, I did mention. Actually, yeah. Well, the mother, the women in my family live pretty long. Like my, I had a, my great grandmother on my mother's side, uh, lived to be uh, one eleven, and then my grandparents were in their nineties. Uh, my mom's seventy five. She's still kicking it, but you know, my dad passed away pretty young, so evens up. But yeah, good genes. Good genes. Mention this on tonight's stream. Earlier today, we looked at Best Buy because someone was like, could you just go to Best Buy and buy something? No. When we looked at Best Buy, they only have things that work with Windows 10. They don't have anything that works with Windows 8. We actually checked. The only things they have in stock there. Yeah, I have uh, I have a wife, a my wife, a real my wife, and uh, two girls that keep me really busy. So, you know, I, I got to be out, you know, and they're all, none of them are homebodies. So they like to be out and about. I'm a bit of a homebody, so. The women in my life have me, uh, you know, running around and doing exercise. Is like the, the most recent one. It was the HD 60X++ or something like that. That's Windows 10 only. They also had an Avermedia Media. That Thanks, babe, man. I appreciate it. It was a long so time ago. My, my dad passed away. It's, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, I was really young. Something up. There's just no other options. There's no other electronic stores anymore. They've all gone out of business. There used to be a fries around here that would have this. Hey, Shark, shit. everybody's a moderator pimp. These places don't exist anymore sucks you know i wish i could sort by delivery time can't i your prime member you moron just price. click prime that's all you Why gotta do phil sort by delivery time they won't let god he, he's uh why not because that would be perfect condition new uh I don't see it let, allow me to sort by delivery time, which sucks because I would like to do that. Hello, Sogo. How are you tonight? Am I going to keep Jasper off my new device? My my big ups, my Caprice. I, I don't I don't get carded, but uh, you PC. know, it's always a good yeah. feeling. I do get the I get the I young ladies uh, kind of cracking on me and I, uh, hitting on me, so I get that a lot. A lot of times, like oh, I'm married, I'm old man, I'm old enough to be a dad. So. If I had it next to the PC here, it's a good feeling from time to time, though. It gives a good feeling. I've had this on the floor for years. He only just in the last two weeks started laying on it. That's how cats are. All of a sudden, like, oh, this is my new thing now. Here's my new thing that I like, and that's what he's been doing, you know. But I don't think that Jasper. What's up, Paul? What's up, PM? You know what I mean. Connor, that's what I'm doing. He says you can filter it to only be prime shipping. That's literally what I'm doing. I have it all filtered to only prime. Everything here looks cheap, like thirty dollars. You're not gonna get a good one for thirty bucks. Uh, I got a new Steel Series uh, keyboard, uh, gaming keyboard. Really nice with the mouse. It was a really good package. My wife got me that. I got a pair of sneakers. Uh, I got a couple gift cards. Uh, what else I get? Uh, I got a Funko Pop, a Vader Obi Wan Kenobi uh, Funko Pop, which is really cool. Uh, what else I get? I think that was it. Yep, that was it. You know. You're going to have to pay a decent amount of money to get a capture device that you're going to be able to use all day, every day. And sadly, the one, the ones that I'm seeing... Big ups, Kalu. Thank you very much for the $2 uh, Super Chat, Pimp. Be delivered in like two days. Uh, shout out, Duty and the Hoodlums. Glory. Like all Windows 10. Like this one here. Glory to Russia. <laughs> our Pimp. 
This one says Windows Glory, 7. Glory, glory. I only know a little what bit of Russian. What the hell is that? I know a little bit of Russian. I can curse in Russian. Like a car lighter on it. I know Suko. What is um, that connection? What the fuck is oh, that? Oh, man. I used to know a lot of Russian. Capture card for Windows 7. Where I used to live at was a very highly populated Dongle. Russian community. So. Grabber. Uh, I learned all the curse. I learned all the curses. Grabber device. That's what this thing is described as on Amazon. A game dongle graver device. Uh, I believe suku means butt. Hmm. <laughs> you got uh, an Italian graphic, Italian style odd. graphic card. <laughs> Some of is isn't called anything weird. style yet. They're calling it that instead of just like a capture device. What's what's the brand? Mocos. M O K O S E. USB 3.0, HDMI, SDI, video. This thing actually has a dedicated. They they literally could. They... Oh my lord! He wants people to pay him to watch him shop. They don't even have a, a high definition picture of. Uh it. yeah, it I am. Terrible. I'm I'm actually. It was originally from PA. Now What's I'm down company? in Florida. Doesn't even have a name. What's yep. the name of the manufacturer? Uh, I think I've said this before. My family uh is originally from Spain. They went to Puerto Rico. And then eventually ended up here in the States. So I was born here in the States. So my family is predominantly uh, Spanish and Portuguese mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff. K-E-D-O-K? -E Kedok. Like, wait a minute. Like Kodak, but misspelled? <laughs> it's. <laughs> he needs a robust yeah, capture card. <laughs> it's bootleg Kodak. They, it's a knockoff <sighs> Kodak. His whole streaming... Uh, setup is a thousand years old what does it matter whether he gets a brand or non-brand or a cheap or or refurb it doesn't matter the goal is to eventually throw all that shit out and get something new so why is he going to spend a hundred bucks on a capture card especially with the fact that two people are going to be sending him capture cards uh, i just don't understand oh my god it says oh compatible with compatible with all streaming applications obs twitch TikTok. XSplit, Steam, YouTube. It says all this. I'm not shitting you. It says all of this in the in the this product description. Oh yes, it's the TikTok. Big ups, Reading, PA. I, I wasn't too far. Them. I was in the Philly area. I was up in Montgomery County. Right. This is ridiculous. What are the all the ports on this thing? That's the reason why he's extending this. He just wants someone to well in and say, hey, you know what, man? This is way too much work. You're right, Phil. We're going to buy you a new PC. Here's a here's 1500 bucks. Interesting. Because my Avra Media never needed its own power adapter. This one apparently has its own individual power adapter, which I've never seen. I, you know, I've never seen that before. What's the reviews like for? Oh, five stars. St stunning five star reviews, just like every product on Amazon. Full five stars. Oh, the best product I've ever seen. But this is. Let me find the reviews. Let me read them. I'm sure this is a great product. Oh, here we go. You ready? Great quality. I actually bought this as a fill in until my Elgato got here. Well, you know, the Elgato's going back. Because this is here. It's such quality. I wish that they made an internal version. Right? Here's another one. I'm super happy with my purchase. Very good quality. Super solid. Easy to use. Hook my computer in with HDMI card and a USB to my iPad. The quality was remarkable. Uh, comes with a manual, but it's pretty self-explanatory too. Great price. This is highly recommended. Right? You know what's funny? That, which I know for a fact, Apple devices have HDCP. Apple devices don't let you just capture from them. So if this person is saying they just took their iPad and they plugged it in, they're lying. It wouldn't work. It would say error. You need to actually have a, an HDCP bypass system in order to rip from any Apple device. So unless they're saying this this device also for $78 is also an HDCP bypass device, this is a horseshit review. And by the way, all these reviews just came in in the last month. Here's the third review from November 30th. It does what it says. The capture device works perfectly for me to capture my screen at 4K when creating courseware. Courseware. I capture as I go using OBS, 
Then I edit the final result in Premiere. I capture both Windows and Linux sessions. What? Sound and video. Yeah, I'm seeing that, that Derek is getting uh, roasted. What the hell did he say? What did he do? Did he want a dream print, a Disney I'm Princess screen? I want to order. I'm, I'm curiosity. I think I want to order this thing <laughs> to just see if it works. And if it's terrible, we can laugh at it. I can return it, right? Like I'm thinking, like I should order this. This is funny. <laughs> Remember, this man claims he has no time to do anything, and yet he's gonna buy shit that knows he's that he knows doesn't isn't gonna work or be a good quality, to then print a label out and then go to wherever and reship it back to Amazon. But yet, remember, he has no time to do anything. He has no time to be with his my horse. He has no time to be with his cat, his family. But yet, he has time to buy garbage products from Amazon, uh, get them, and then reship them back. It sounds so, it, it's, how could it possibly work? Here's the other review. I'm happy. Yeah, with this, I think with he is a little drunk. I've got the desired effect. <laughs> I got the desired effect. With this, you can use the laptop to play Twitch. The material is also very good. The collected pictures are very clear. And the sound is also synchronized. After playing for a few days, the effect is still very ideal. <laughs> the fluency is very satisfactory. And the desired effect has been achieved. <laughs> you know who never says that? Cat. <laughs> what the hell? Those are the four reviews. I have to forward this idea. Yo, those are great. This is the best. By all accounts, this is the best capture device literally ever created. I don't know how how you could be better. If it has the desired effect and the smoothness it remains of the image over time, right? Especially if I'm capturing from Windows or Linux, right? I mean, man, can you imagine being compatible with both Windows and Linux capturing? That's And, and also, I mean... The unprecedented amount of compatibility here. Uh, OBS, Twitch, TikTok, XSplit, Steam. These are all equivalent apps, of course. YouTube. These are all very equivalent things to, to be listing, right? <laughs> I kind of want to get this now. Because I know it's, I know I could return it. I can just go bring it right back to fucking uh, Kohl's. Secure transaction ships from Amazon. Eligible for return refund or replacement within 30 days of your receipt. Yeah. Right? I think I want to do it. Anyway, I got some shout outs to do. I got a dollar twenty-five tip from Phil Each Shit. So how many other capture devices you bought when you moved? I remember the video where you bought three capture devices. They both they only do 720p. That's it. I have them right here. So, this to 720p, this to 720p. Okay? Derek, you're heading out for the night? All right. I don't. Derek, I'm going to talk about the schedule in a few minutes if you could stick around and not leave. I'm actually going to tell you what I have, I have interesting plans for tomorrow's streams. Unique stuff. Something that's not expected. I'd like to do tomorrow. If you could stick around for a few more minutes, I'll tell you. Because we're getting to that. That was going to be like the finale of tonight's stream. Okay? <clears throat> Okay. I told you. Um, I told you since the tips Arthur aren't coming in, shit for the tip, he's going to end I got early. another $1.25 tip from Phil Shits. He said, I think you missed my tip. No, no, no. I missed. I, I just shout out Phil Eats Shit. Your name is Phil Shits. You're two different people, supposedly. At least you're using two different names. See? So I thought that you were, got, were two separate people. You're not? Are you saying that when Phil Eats Shit and Phil Shits, it's two completely different people? Or it's two same people? I'm very confused now. Derek will stick around. Awesome. I also received another $20 tip. From Super Batcat. Here's a little tip for a new capture card. I think I want to buy this one. Because so, I can... If it's a piece of dog shit and we test it later this week and it's really junk, we can just... I can return it easily. I'm really feeling like I want to get this just on curiosity's sake. Because there's no possible way this thing could work. It's a $78 device. There's Let's see if one of his den heads call him out. It works with Windows 7, it says. Windows 7. Just think about that. <clears throat> it, 
It's the most compatible device ever created. It apparently is the best. It, I mean, it has the smoothness of image and desired effect either on Windows and Linux. It works with the TikTok. How could it not be a good device? Right? Right? So I think maybe we should go with this. If it's crap, I could do a capture card review. Exactly right. That's what I'm thinking. I think, just curiosity's sake, I might order this stupid thing. That's right. You can't forget the smoothness of image. The smoothness of image may be the highlight. It says this will come on Thursday. If I order it within three hours, I'm going to add this to my cart. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm going to add this to my cart. Oh, I can get a three-year office equipment protection plan. Well, wait a minute. I think I should I should definitely get that for only $7.99. Oh, I mean, come on. I mean, I'd be a fool to not buy the office equipment protection plan. <laughs> right. There is no way this thing works. See, there was actually another one. This is interesting. There was a device here. This one was recommended by a viewer. And they said that this one probably works well. Um, this one was being offered by B&H Photo. For those who don't know, B&H... Ah, fucking stupid thing. B&H Photo is a company that is a little different from, like, Amazon. Like, basically, this company is a, is a, a privately owned company. And they kind of have to stand by their products. Because if they have returns, it's on them. It's not like, oh, it goes to a giant multi-billion dollar company. You know? So, they had this one, but they actually have this on Amazon, and they're guaranteeing that if I order it from Amazon, uh, that this will also come on Thursday. But there's a cheaper one. There's two models. One is HDMI and SDI. The other one is just HDMI. The one that says it's just HDMI says that it would come... Uh, on Friday. Hmm. Oh, people are saying I didn't update the leaderboard. And I didn't. I didn't. You're right, guys. I'm a little. I'm a little like worked up with shit tonight. You gotta forgive me. I was busy reading Amazon reviews and I almost pooped myself in hilarity. So that means we are at the Gunner Glasses level. Thank you. <clears throat> Derek, I know. It's like everything broke this year. You're absolutely right. He's like, what a year for your TV and all this. Dude, you forget my dishwasher, right? You forgot my dishwasher's busted. You forgot my uh, <laughs> my 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 uh, car broke down. It cost me $1,100 to fucking fix. What a, what a year for breaking. I might as well just go break other things in my house with a baseball bat, too, just to for full, full measure. So that way, when the next year hits, everything's, you know, already broken. It can't possibly break again, right? Yeah, Fever, I did a couple videos on that. Anyways, oh, HVAC dying. It says, U HDMI to USB 3.1 Type-C uncompressed video capture card. And one that was listed on B&H, and B&H usually stands by the products. But if this one just happens to be on Amazon, if I order this one, it comes Friday. Hmm. This one has three reviews. Let's see all reviews. Great. Wait a minute. It says three reviews, but only one with text. I guess people just did, threw numbers at it. One. It has two five-star no. What? How could it have? This doesn't even make sense. The one review that has text says, using it to stream HDI video and analog and OBS sessions, very satisfying. Oh, this person only used it for SDI. And I don't, I'm not using SDI. Uh Huh. Well, anyway, um, I'm not getting, I wouldn't even get the SDI version. There's two versions. These, it's basically all five and four star reviews for this device. 
I'm debating getting a few things, and again, I could return these if they don't work. I could easily... What the fuck just happened? I didn't click twice. Go back, you fucker. I could return this. If it doesn't work. Or if I just don't want it. I could... So I could get two different ones here. I could try that $78 magic box. And I could try this AV Matrix one. And this one's this one's 150. So it's a little quality more content expensive. here, folks. Probably quality content. Here. If you've ever ever thought about donating to this person, I do. George, uh, yeah, you George, should George, really yeah, reevaluate your, your whole local life. That, near my house, uh, takes Amazon returns. So basically, if I order these, one of these should be coming. Um, yeah, one of these should be coming uh, on Thursday. One should come on Friday. And I have the viewer who's sending me the Aver Media, and that's coming as soon as possible, but we can't guarantee when, right? Let me take a look at how much this would all be. Poor Derek losing his mind. He doesn't know when the next Disney Princess and Pokemon streams are. Oh, the AV Matrix isn't, isn't prime. Shit. No, I'm not paying $30 for shipping. Fuck that. No, I'm not. That is a no-go. Let's, uh, let's back that sucker out of my cart. Absolutely not. I thought it was Prime. I had checked off only Prime, and the fucking thing didn't listen. How do I get this out of my cart now? Quantity zero. Quantity fuck off. There we go. I fucked it off. I fucked it right off out of my cart. <laughs> there we go. What the hell's wrong with this the, dude? The magic box. He's so that sexually delivery, uh, frustrated. So that one will keep from, it from from cat Absolutely. withholding. The magic box. Let's go back now, because now I feel bad. I wanted to kind of get two to mess around with. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> this is gonna be an interesting week, to say the least, my friends. This will be a weird week because it looks like I'm not really doing any real major gameplay for a while. <laughs> At least I have Wednesday off. So that kind of gives me a day to work with. But tomorrow will be a weird day, and I have ideas for tomorrow. And What's I'm up, tell PS5 you guys Gamer? I'm doing good, man. Hope you're doing well. well. Connor, thank you for the support tonight, and thanks for the support. I had a great Christmas. Hope there. you and your family did as Appreciate well. Appreciate your help. I think you're going to like what we're doing tomorrow, because I have a, a really genuinely interesting idea that you guys had actually suggested earlier in the year, and I think tomorrow is the perfect time to do it. Okay. When did I get my capture device? 2014. I've had it for eight Ask years. Ask the king. For eight years that I've been doing it. All right, hold on. So now I gotta go back. Yeah, this sucks that this one isn't prime. Why isn't it prime? Fuck, man. Bullshit. Oh, shit. The other version, the one that has the SDI in that I don't need, that one's prime. So that one would come on Friday and would have free shipping. But that one... Is $30 more anyway. That one's $179. So either I pay $30 for shipping and get it Friday without the SDI, or I pay the $30, get the SDI, and the shipping's free, and I still get it Friday. They're, they're, they're both $180. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. It's kind of stupid. All right, let's go back then. Nope. Sucks. He has never hit that. Him and Wings have that in common. Sucks. Wings with no penetration and dark God side, no well, bat, no uh. backside fill. That's what I'm gonna call him. What's up, Nas? How you doing, Pimp Man? Good to see you here, man. Hope you had an awesome Christmas, Pimp. You and the family. I Dude, Nas, he's completely, he's completely wasted, man. He's completely wasted. Somebody's gonna you, somebody's now, gonna send him a free HD card, 60S, and now he wants to buy the more of the cards. Elgato. The Elgato's called the HD 60s. This one's the Digit Now HD 60s. Basically, what they're trying to do is fool people into thinking that they're the Elgato when they're not. 4K plus. Thank you, Bronx man. I appreciate it, man. Frame. Or 4K HDMI audio video capture, no lag pass through for video recording, live streaming. Compatible with PS4, PS5 Pro, PS5, PS1, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S. Uh, if you get a little time off from the stream labs, you can ignore it. My, uh, it my not bot is acting up a little bit, so apologies. It says it's compatible with Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. 
What's up, Jose? I'm doing good, Pimp. I'm doing good. Yeah, we're here watching him. He, I think we think he's wasted. We think he finished up that gin bottle he bought for Christmas. Derek, you should watch the videos from earlier today. Hey, Nas, you gotta you gotta check out the video. His his uh, Jasper the detractor. Oh, here's in right now. On the capture device, and I think it uh, it broke finally, and that was the end of that. So this is a hundred dollars digit now. 61 ratings. It's a four star rating, which actually is a way more realistic rating. So, no, essentially what ended up happening was uh, Jasper the detractor damaged his capture card, right? So, of course, midway through the God of War stream, he lost it and spent about an hour trying to fix it and it didn't. And of course, he decided that tonight he was going to do a Begathon or a troubleshooting uh, stream, like he likes to call it, and try to come up with all the different options and ways he can fix this problem. And essentially, uh, what he was doing was he was waiting for the whales to come out and actually buy him a PC or give him a whole bunch of money, which didn't happen. He's at $56, and that was because two whales tipped uh, uh, $25 and $20, and then the rest were small little tips. So that didn't happen. So then he came out and said, oh, I got this email from someone, an old supporter of mine that said he has a card that's just like mine, the one I'm using, and it's brand new, and he'll send it to me. So, of course, when the whales didn't come out, he then came out with his email. Now what he's trying to do is he's trying to say, well, maybe we should buy a backup card just in case the card that I get doesn't work. And now he's looking to buy and spend the Denhead's money on additional capture cards that he himself said uh, he's not going to need. And he'll just, he'll just send them back to, to, to Amazon. Mind you, this man is the man that talks about he has no time to do anything, but he has time to buy garbage um capture cards so that he can reship them back to amazon so there you go I, ra I wrapped it up nicely for everyone let's take a look at this one let's look at these reviews i might try this one this one's cheap 100 bucks and i can again i can return it oh this one has 53 <clears> percent <throat> five star 21 percent four star three percent three star and 23 percent one star stinko rating let me read a stinko so you're looking for a device to record video, right? This product only required three cables, one HDMI from the source, one power cable, and a USB to your computer. But how do you record it? The product from the manual asks you to download open source software. Okay, fine, but it doesn't work. I tried Mac you welcome Pro, this. two Windows laptops. The video quality is really bad because the open source software cannot let you set up 4K or at least better quality display. It relies yeah, on he has two 7020p cards you can use. PC that would work perfectly fine. running Windows, Mac, or Linux, which is actually due to the open source tool, not because that device itself is that good. So if you already have a software to record the screen... It was good, now. Was, you know, you chilling here that? with family, and uh, yeah, we just hung out and stuff. It was pretty quiet, which is perfect for me, man. Hope everything was good with uh, your Christmas, man. Huh? I was actually in PA before Christmas, so I had, like I, I had to catch a catch a flight down. I got lucky. Their, their MacBook. Uh, I was able to catch a flight down and come down without back to any Florida, software, so yeah. Right? Other than that, so everything else was like great. Me. Like, they didn't know you needed, like, OBS or something, so they didn't really understand it. Let me find another crap rating. With all this Cry poor and wants a pet spend a hundred bucks on a card that he doesn't need. Someone is sending him the same exact card that he has already that will work. It would it would lead you to believe that it would work on PS5, 1440p, and 120 hertz. But it's not the case. It only supports 1440p 60 hertz pass through on the PS5. And that was a one star rating because of that. See all reviews. I'm only doing 60 hertz for the record. I can only record at 60 hertz. Right? We're at 1212, and he talked about he was going to do the schedule at around 1150. So he spent the last 22 minutes essentially window shopping on Amazon for a capture device he doesn't oh, need. Does not work with 4K video at all. Although this is advertised to work with 4K video. The CJ, yes, everyone in my family got a uh, gifted Watch membership it. to DSP Gaming, and then they also got a IOU for when uh, Phil opens up a merchandise device, they can pick any shirt that they like. That was their Christmas presents. Trying it with a 
TiVo Stream 4K. It's plugged directly into this device with no additional cables. I have verified that the display settings on the TiVo device are set to 4K. Exactly, Donald. He's sitting here. He's going to waste money and time because he's going to end up shipping that card back. <clears throat> I have tried several different methods of trying to capture, but the same. I keep getting the same resolution. So this person is basically saying they just can't get it to work 4K at all. Huh. You know, I might try this one. This is called... Hey, Tom. No, we saw it. He has two seven... They're, they're both 720p, and he doesn't want to stream a 720p, which is asinine because the 720p actually would be better for him because it wouldn't eat up as much CPU on his laptop, so he doesn't have to worry about over overclocking his CPU on his laptop, so his stream might run a little bit streamer, or smoother. And 720p doesn't use as much bandwidth, right? So his uploads would be... His videos would be smaller. He can upload them quicker and the quality on youtube from 720p to 1080p isn't much difference it, you don't see much of a difference like a lot of times when i'm clipping phil if i'm on my phone and I'm, I'm away from my house i'm using 720p because it makes no difference it really doesn't the digit now hd yeah twitch you can only stream i think on you can only really they, they recommend on twitch 720p i mean you can do 1080p but they actually tell you that 720 is better i might give it a shot for twitch and for youtube can, you really uh, can't tell much of a difference from 720p to 1080p if you're streaming a game return, that's very highly graphic return, really nice like god of war then yeah okay maybe you want 1080p because right. it looks nicer but it's not much of a difference here tonight all right so now now people say i'm not covering all the bases i mean geez you guys are jerks so here's what we're doing. I'm ordering two replacement capture devices that say they work with Windows 8 right on them. Two. They're both two folks. Prime, two. And they're both coming Friday, according to this. They're both coming on Friday, okay? Um, now, in addition, I've got... Uh, uh, for highs, you got to put a dollar amount... Uh, no, so you have to put exclamation point high uh, space and then 500, 1,000. They're going to be shipping me the Avermedia uh, Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, which I actually saw listed and actually has high ratings. That one also works with Windows 8. However, they're going to ship it tomorrow, first thing, and they can't guarantee, you know, it's going to be here in a day, maybe a couple days, but they're going to do it as quick as possible. They said they're going to ship it, okay? So there you go. So we're going to try it. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy these two capture devices. One is the Digit Now HD. And then this one is the... This one doesn't even have a name. It's just the HDMI video capture card. This is the magic card, I'm going to call it. The magic card. And if they suck, they suck. And I can just return them no problem. All right? All right. I'm going to buy these. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. How do I pay for these? Oh, I have to use... I actually have to pay for them? Oh, shit. Well, I don't know if I bought that then. Now, nah, okay. Here we go pay with it here okay i'm gonna try this wait what happened there i clicked on that use this payment method right okay you're being weird it claims they'll both come friday why are there two options that both say free prime delivery what if i why are they different He's going to have to take a day off because he ain't got no content to stream on Wednesday. This is so weird. Plus, he has to do grocery shopping, pet supply shopping, uh, yeah, okay. meal with his wife. On Friday. All right. Place your order. Prepper. Yes, that's the proper thing. Place your order. Okay. So, a fan is sending me a replacement card that may be here before Friday. Worst case scenario... I got two capture cards coming Friday. Okay? Worst case. All right. We'll see what happens. Okay? Now, I got a dollar 20 tip from Elusive Shady. So here's a little bit to help you out. I know it's not much. Thank you Elusive Shady. Every little bit helps. Again, thank you. I know that I was supposed to be putting out gaming for you guys tonight. I didn't get to do that. That sucks. Crying right. emojis in the chat, boobs. Crying emojis. All right. And one more thing, shout out to Bo Jangles asked me if I'm drunk. No, I'm not. And Donnie Watts became a member tonight. Thank you to Donnie Watts for the membership. All right, so listen up. 
here's what we're doing tomorrow. This is quite interesting. All right, I have, I have some interesting things that I'd like to do with you all tomorrow since I can't capture any gameplay. There's two things I would like to do with you all tomorrow on stream, okay? Apparently, I'm being told I'm getting, I'm getting a Windows 10 key. I don't know how. I, I didn't get one, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a Windows 10 key here. I don't know what you mean, Scarface. Anyway, so here's what's going on tomorrow. All right? No gameplay. I can't do any gameplay. What am I going to do? Right? So here's the deal. Two ideas for tomorrow's streams. Tuesday. It's my last consecutive streaming day of the week. Wednesday, I'm off. All right? Idea number one. All right? And this will be an interesting idea. There was something you guys suggested to me months ago. And you said, when will you have time to do this? And I said, I honestly don't know when I'll have time to do it. But I'd like to do it. And, uh... What's up, Barrow? How you doing, Pip? Excuse me, that's disgusting. I don't know if I'll have to, when I was going to have time to do it. <clears throat> Alright. Um, but now I think we have some time to do it. Alright? So, during my closet clean-out event that I did over the summer... You guys, oh my god, he's gonna me. clean this closet Open out all again. My bins and see all the shit that I had in there, okay. And one of the bins, I actually found something that shocked me. Not only did I find all of my external hard drives from back in the day, I actually found a power adapter that seems to work with them. So, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, I think what we will do after the level one podcast, we will go through the external hard drives, and we are going to dive into the DSP Barrow archives. was good, man. I hope you had a good, uh, a good holiday as well. What do I have on those hard drives? How far back did they go? Do we have hidden playthroughs that have never been uploaded, like Dante's Inferno? Do we have the missing playthroughs that are gone? Final Fantasy XIII, the original... Red Dead Redemption, the original, uh, uh, LA his Noir, capture card went out, right? Not his graphic card, his capture card. All those original videos that were lost to time because people hacked those channels. The original, exactly, the original Suicide Kings. That could all be on there, but we have to go through those hard drives. I don't know what's on them. We have a ton of them, and a lot of them aren't labeled. I didn't start labeling them. Daddy, you know, someone's going like to send them a, 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 a graphic card, so uh, excuse me, a capture card that, that's just like the one he has. That's it. Right? And he but got 57 bucks in tips. Of the older ones labeled, so I literally have no clue what's on those. Until we look at them, we will never know. So what I can do is I can set up OBS to capture from my video program that plays, and we can open videos and see what they are. And see what what you know what playthroughs we've got, and maybe maybe watch them back together, like do a little bit of, you know, kind of improv reacting to the old videos that's on there. And if we can find the old playthroughs, that'd be great because then I could separate them out, and eventually I could possibly re-upload those missing videos to YouTube. They've been gone for like a long ass time, right? Again, Final Fantasy Thirteen, Red Dead Redemption One, the Suicide King series the original L.A. Noir are all gone. And I'm, there's other ones, too. I know for a fact, like I said, the original Dante's Inferno playthrough and those things, gone. They were just... Yeah, missing. Donald, I am. Yeah. I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about this after he shuts up and ends his stream. But yes, yes, I am. So I guess we'll see. That'll be That's one idea I have for tomorrow, okay? Here's the other idea I have. Just on curiosity's sake, we can see if we can get this intensity shuttle from 2012, 2011... It's only 720p, but we can at least see if it works, right? We plug it in, we dick around with it. We see if we can get it to do anything. And if it works, great. 720p backup device. So when is this happening? Tomorrow. The first stream tomorrow will be the level one podcast. He like should have did that. Oh, and Jesus then after that, Christ. Jesus I'm going to die. Oh, sorry. Instead of streaming today. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Instead of streaming today, that's what he should have done. That's what he should have done. He should have the used the 720p, 720p as a backup. That's what he should have done. Do that, but, but no. You know, no, right? he can't skip All right. a day you know we're doing of getting tomorrow. tips it's and weird. money. It's wacky. It's different. 
It's certainly not what you would expect. Oh, it's wacky. Wacky and different. But I hope that you all enjoyed chilling with me for two hours. We got a fan sending a replacement item. I ordered two other items that may or may not work that are coming Friday. So hopefully the fan item will come first. Why is he swinging his arms it, like a ring got stuff to do. Wednesday, I'm off anyway. If the, if the fan capture device comes Thursday, beautiful. Then we can hook it right up and hopefully get it working right off the bat. And then we miss nothing. It's like, well, we've only missed one day. But if it doesn't come to like Friday, Saturday, yeah, now we're kind of pushing it. I guess we'll see. All right, Derek, you have a good night. Thank, I would like to say to everyone, thank you all for chilling with me here tonight. This Basically, this could have been a shitty, annoying, very bad stream. But instead, I had a good time kind of talking with all of you. I got all the trolls to shut up, which was good. I, you know, slapped them around a little bit. And uh, we had a good time together, right? And uh, I hope we'll see you tomorrow for another really weird The salt stream. and the cope. It's going to be a weird one, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Until tomorrow. Awesome. <clears throat> Okay, I stopped recording. Yeah, guys, thanks. That's it. Like, like seriously, what a day. I didn't really do much today. I played an hour of games. I dicked around all day. Because <laughs> I had nothing else to do. Uh, but I hope to see you tomorrow for the DSP Archive stream. Jade says, you may see me tomorrow. I might be a little late. I don't know. It's all good. If, Jade, show up if you can, when you can. And if you don't feel good, it's all good, man. You don't have to worry about it, all right? You're not missing too much. 11 more links and we'll get one more celebratory course, bubble blow. The card is only 70 bucks. It's a known brand higher end product. Has 4K pass through. Hobo X, if I'm capturing at 1080p, 60 frames per second, and my CPU, all right, is running at 95%, how exactly do you think I'm going to be running games at 4K? I'm just curious. How would this happen exactly? Then go down to 720p. Can you, tell me it's have you have two less cards. Data in the 4K than the 1080p. God, he's so frustrated. Less. Anyway. Oh, 4K pass through sends 4K to your TV. It only captures at 1080p. Yeah, but you are aware that 4K does 30 frames, right? You're aware of that. Anyway. I already bought two cards, and, you know, that are coming Friday, and, uh,. We've also got this other card coming from a fan. So let's see what happens. All right, let's not go crazy here. I'm not buying 17 more cards. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for a great night stream. It was a random one for sure. I wasn't expecting today to go like it did. He's stalling um, for some tomorrow, more tips. Look at him. Look we're going to do him. the DSP archive stream where we dive into the archives of my files and we see what's on those hard drives. Right? And then... We'll also probably dick around with this if we have time and see if we get that to work. So it's going to be a random day. No he should play. do a WWE this Champion stream. I'm, uh, I'm telling you, he would make bank if he did that. You know, back then, I only labeled the folders. I didn't label the video files. So I, I have no idea what I'm going to find, quite frankly. We're going to find out tomorrow live together, I guess, right? I guess so. It'll be an interesting experiment either way. All right. Guys, thank you so much. Please have a good evening, and thank you for understanding today. I'm sorry that today was such a weird-ass day. Uh, with little I love that the last Super Chatter was Jasper Kitty. Chatter. All right, guys, thank you. <laughs> have a good night. See you tomorrow. Peace out. All right, people. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Oh, my Lord. So let's recap. Uh, that being said, so essentially, let me just recap the stream here. So our boy... Phil, right, decided to do a stream instead of saying, hey, guys, I'm going to cancel the stream. I'm going to try to figure out my setup. No, he, he he figures, oh, let me do a stream because every time I do a stream when something's not working or something gets messed up, uh, I get wailed out and I get tons of money. Maybe I'll get enough money tonight to buy a PC or, or you know, whatever, whatever the case is. And he didn't get that. He got 57 bucks in, in, in tips couple super chats and a couple memberships that's all he got so the whales were not coming out they were just like you know what dsp you we can't keep supplying you know we can't keep supplying you every time something goes wrong you know what i mean we we, we whaled you out the other day for memberships and, and now we're broke that, that's essentially what happened so the whales didn't come out and they, they didn't hear the whale call so then he then in turn says oh okay well i, I got this email just now of someone willing to give me a capture card, right? Right there, they should have ended the stream and said, okay, we, I think we have a solution. Tomorrow we're going to do this. Peace out. No, he didn't do that. He spent another hour 
uh, shopping on Amazon, wasting money on two additional cards that he doesn't need when he essentially can actually connect that 720p uh, card and use that for tomorrow on stream until that 1080p comes in. That, technically, he can just do that. Uh, but no, he doesn't want to do that. So he's going to spend money. He spent over 100 bucks on two cards um, that he's not going to use. He's going to end up returning them. And yet this man sits here and complains every single day that he has no time to be with Mawath and his family, right? But yet he has time to go back and return capture cards that he ordered for no goddamn reason. So then he essentially, you know, saw that his dents were restless, especially Derek here and a few others, but they needed to know what the hell was going on. They were tired of, you know, trying to, you know, have Phil pay him, pay them, have them pay Phil to do streaming or to do, you know, to, 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 to be a, a QVC rep or, you know, see those QVC people that order online and they were not having it, not giving many tips. So he finally realized, okay, the wheels aren't going to come out. They ain't, they ain't going to tip me. It ain't going to happen. So he cut the stream. Uh, he finally cut the stream, actually cut it late. So uh, I'm guessing he's going to do the daily wrap. And then right after the daily wrap, he's going to leave and go drink some gin and pull some Hogan's. And yeah, so anyway, that's Phil. I'm going to record. There's a couple pieces in here that I want to do separate videos on. I wanted to provide some commentary because I'm still heated about his stupidity. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll do that a little later. Uh, secondly, I know a few people ask me about, am I going to keep, am I going to be doing more streams? Yes, I am. I think I mentioned it earlier, starting January, I'm going to do the daily streams of the Denhead podcast. And then me and Chill Murray and maybe Snore, if not someone else, we're going to do a podcast, probably do it weekly. Uh, very similar to that being said, kind of the same concept. So that's going to be coming out. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely going to be doing that. So definitely look out. Got, just like DSP, I got some new content coming out for the new years. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to be setting up a series where I kind of do a, uh, what's called a telenovela, which is kind of a sitcom. It's like a, uh, in, in, you know, it's kind of like a general hospital theme, uh, soap, soap opera of Phil. It's going to essentially be uh, DSP gaming season 15. I'm going to give it a name and then I'm going to try to do chapters and each chapter is going to kind of be a weekly summary of what's going on with Phil. And I'm going to try my best to make it like a, like an episode. So uh, something new I'm going to try out. I want to try to be doing, I'm going to try to produce a little bit more quality, uh, edited content at least once a week, just to have it posted. It'll probably be like 45 minutes, an hour long, very, very similar to a sitcom. And that's something new that I'm going to be working on. So I'm excited for that. Uh, the new year is going to bring some new updates and new changes. And then I know people have asked me about the memberships and stuff like that. I, you guys know, I have a, a discord that I created, uh, I need some help. I need some help with the security, getting the meme, the, the me bots and stuff set up, and then I can roll it out. Uh, that's essentially going to be available to anybody that kind of uh, attends the streams. Uh, it's going to be a private one, so you're going to need a link for it. And then, uh, yeah, and then the membership thing, we could talk about that. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, so that's essentially what I have uh, up my sleeves. Oh, another thing too. I was supposed to stream with Chill Mary on his birthday, and I, I, I just could. I, I didn't get a chance. It was actually I flew. I had to fly out from uh, PA back down to here, so I was kind of on a flight. And I thought he was gonna do it later on in the day. Uh, I ended up getting home like at like almost at eight o'clock, which I know he had finished. Uh, so uh, definitely gonna be doing a, a stream with him um, soon for his birthday. We'll chit chat and hang out. And then after that, you know, we're definitely going to be setting up that weekly podcast where, you know, we just talk about Phil, Wings, whoever, you know, just it, just in life. Talk, talk, you know, maybe have guests. Um, you know, I've become friends with a few people on YouTube, so maybe I can get them to come on board and do the stream with us. Uh, so, yeah, so definitely, definitely some interesting, fun content. So uh, that's all I have. Unless you guys have any questions and you want to do a and a questions, concerns, I'm more than happy to hang out for a little bit and, and give you some answers if not uh i will let you guys go you guys can uh relax enjoy the content and yeah definitely 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 so uh yeah let me know if you guys have any questions or uh you know any questions for me or whatever Oh, real talk. Yeah. So, uh, from what I heard, real talk is just wings 007. Now it's not, um, uh, this guy's not involved anymore. So I chatted with uh double O on, uh, Twitter. So 
uh, he talked about seeing if I could come on board and stuff like that. So we're chatting about that. So uh, if I don't come on board full time, I'll at least do uh, maybe, you know, a couple times a week or something like that. Uh, what kills me, man, is uh, Wings' schedule. It's just, he's so erratic, man. I mean, sometimes he'll stream, you know, uh, crack of dawn in the morning, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. <clears throat> you know, sometimes he'll, he'll stream once. Won't stream for three or four days, and then the, on the fourth day, you see him five times on the stream. So, uh, his schedule is just get. <laughs> Excuse me, his schedule is just killing me, man. Uh, what I have for dinner, I actually have some chicken. I have some grilled chicken with uh, uh, with a, a wrap. So, kind of like a like a burrito kind of thing. Yeah, that failed. That that stream failed miserably. Phil did not bring in the whales. Did not hear the, heed the call and come out and pimp out for Phil. So I don't think he's gonna be happy about that. I think that told him that his dents aren't ready to finance the PC. No mod today. Uh, where does Wing stream? He streams on YouTube. He streams on YouTube. He just deletes his streams after he's done because he's afraid that he's going to get uh his channel struck so there are a couple uh there are a couple detractors out there that every time wing stream if he doesn't delete his vods his vid his streams after he finishes they report him so he doesn't want to get any channel strikes thank you peterman i appreciate that cyrax and cobra not cobra i can't do cobra i, I have a thing about drunks and uh mentally challenged people but yeah, maybe Cyrax. Cyrax just, I, 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 seriously, Cyrax, I think, is a, is a government experiment, experiment that just went wrong. Uh, I mentioned that, but if you can comfortably answer this, what do you do for work? Oh, oh yeah, I can answer that. I've talked about it before. So I am retired, uh, actually. So I, um, uh, I went into uh, my family business when uh, both my father and... Uh, well, once my father passed away before my father and my, my uncle had a business, a pretty big business. And then my father passed away. And then later on, my uncle passed away. He had no children, no wives. Uh, and essentially the business had a, um, uh, they had similar to what you would call kind of a, a board that ran the business. And I came on board cause I was the only one kind of willing and qualified in my family to do it. So I kind of ran the company for. Uh, I'd probably say about six years. And then right before COVID, uh, I sold the business. I, I got rid of it. Uh, the business had several pans, which is what what the what the, the purchasing company really wanted. Uh, they wanted the actual pans. So we sold the business. Uh, my relatives, my, my siblings got a share. Uh, we kind of split it. I decided not to take a share. I took uh, royalties. So essentially, I get a royalty uh, every month from the business. So uh, I live off that. I used to have rental properties. I recently sold those off. Uh, I've purchased some land in, in uh, Plano, Texas that I think about. I might be working with a developer to do condominiums. Uh, and yeah, and then I do YouTube kind of on the side. So a lot of people ask, how do I have, a, I have, a lot, how do I have time to spend so much time on Phil? Uh, essentially, I, I have a lot of free time, so. Uh, you know, I kind of have that flexibility to spend on trolling wing, uh, trolling, trolling wings and DSP. So that's uh, my origin story, peep. Uh, who has to find it? Uh, wings, I don't ever see wings ever getting a job. I can see him trying to go for disability. So I'm going to say DSP. Uh, yeah, LTG, I did, I did post a video on that and uh, couldn't happen to a better person. Uh, LTG gets a lot of, uh, I'm going to be a straight shooter with you guys. LTG gets a lot of breaks because he's a minority. He's African American and, uh, YouTube and Twitch tend to, uh, that's a demographic that they don't have a lot of content creators in. So they want to kind of expand, uh, content creators in both Hispanic and, uh, uh African American communities. So one of the problems with LTG is he gets a lot of uh, breaks that other content creators wouldn't get. Uh, so that's why he's kind of been on the, um, you know, he, he's, he's gotten a lot of slack from YouTube. 
but essentially he ended up doing a ban evasion uh, the other day. And uh, that's what got him banned. He might come back, who knows, but YouTube, once YouTube bans you and they delete your channel, that's kind of definite, it's kind of definitive there. So he, uh, if he gets unbanned from Twitch, you'll probably see him on Twitch. I heard he was on Facebook gaming though. So maybe he'll might, he, he might make a, a living there. Now I'm 47, man. Duty's 47, I'm an old dude. Thanks, John. Yeah, I got lucky. I got lucky. I got, I got, I got lucky. You know, my, it's really funny. I talk about my dad. So my dad, uh, lived in Puerto Rico, uneducated, never went to school, self-made man, came here with nothing, no money in his pocket. And he worked a lot of farming jobs. Uh, we lived in PA, so New Jersey and a lot of farming jobs. So he did a lot of farming jobs. And then he got to a certain point where he say, F that, he had an idea for a business. And him and his brother kind of got together and yeah, they started the business, small shop, and then it grew like within two or three years, it kind of blew up. Uh, they had event, they had, they had developed a couple patents, or they had received a couple patents for, uh, I don't want to get too much into what it is, but um, yeah, they had a couple patents and then yeah, the, the business blew up and you know, we made, we, we got lucky essentially. Yeah, I think I talked about it before, you know, um, but yeah, so essentially uh, when my uncle passed away, he ran the business and he, he was a great guy, uh, you know, and we, we, we were taken care of. We got we had our share and all that from our dad. Um, uh, so we were we were OK. We were taken care of. Uh, but then he passed away and there were no he had no siblings, no wife or anything. So essentially everything passed on to us. And, uh, you know, we you know, we didn't want to sell it. So uh, it was run by sort of a board. Uh, we had a uh, conservatory, I think it's, that's what it's called. He kind of managed it for the first year, and then they kind of brought me on board. Uh, I knew a good amount of the business, so uh, they mainly ran it. I was just there to kind of make, uh, I was basically more of a facilitator. So, you know, if any big decisions came, I was consulted, but I'm, I mostly relied on the um, kind of the board to make most of the decisions just because they... They knew the business and it was a private company anyway so there were no shares or any of that everybody just received the salary so uh you know the the health of the business you know everybody kind of had a a stake in it so um yeah it was good it did good and then after COVID, i was just like you know uh someone came to us they made an offer everyone was able to stay on they didn't lay anyone off they kept the structure in place so i was able to just be like all right well peace i'm, I'm done I'll, I'll get my peace and you know, no one gets fired. Everything kind of stays there. They have no ownership and, and it kind of just kept on. And, you know, I still keep in touch with a few of them and the company's still running really good. And, you know, every uh, month I get a check and yeah, good times. Yeah. He's in Facebook gaming. If you look him up, he has a channel there. Ah, 46, a good age, man. Good age. New Jersey. I was in PA in Montgomery County and then I'm down in Florida now. So. Props to your dad. Yeah, man, he was a good dude, man. He was a smart man. I mean, not educated at all. Didn't know English. Came to this country with no money. And uh, kind of self-made man. So that's why uh, Phil annoys me so much. Because he had a lot of advan a lot of advantages. And he acts like a five-year-old child still. Yes, conservatorship. Essentially, that's what it was. It was a board made up of nine people uh, that worked for the company for years. They were kind of senior level uh, management. And, uh, you know, it was sort of like a board of directors because we were a private company. We didn't have a stock or anything. Um, and, yeah, it was, it was it, you know, it was good. I learned I, I learned the business when I was young anyway. My brother is not wanted to deal with it. My sister didn't want to deal with it. She was actually in Cali. So it was like, all right. So it became either leave it, you know, let it run, you know, let, let someone else kind of take care of it. And, but I, I did kind of didn't want to do that because, you know, that, that gets a little dicey when you let other, other people kind of run your business, you know, you're not involved. So I, I spoke with my relatives and said, all right, I'll, I'll do it. At the time, actually, my major is healthcare. So I, I, I have my master's degree in healthcare administration. So I worked in health insurance, uh, medical health insurance. So, you know, this was way out of my I, I had no clue what it was i mean i couldn't i i've you know 
fairly run a business and, and make business decisions and stuff. But you know, the the business that was my father, I, I didn't I didn't know much of. So. Phil has no business plan. I doubt it. Phil is if Phil if Phil doesn't live day to day or paycheck to paycheck. He lives tip to tip. Yeah, you're right, Todd. Yeah, it just it just bothered me. Someone that had so many advantages as he did, and when you don't take uh, advantage of it, it, it bothers me. You know what I mean? It bothers me. Like me, I can I can respect someone that came from nothing, and base like for example, I, I've know people that you know they're middle class, hardworking people. You know they only make but so much, but they have a house. Their kids are in college. They're debt free, you know, they work really hard. They're solid citizens. They don't complain, you know, and I can really respect that. Cause like I say, okay, this is a person that has his life together. And then when I see people like Phil spending $150 on two cards, he doesn't need. It just, it just baffles me and it just irritates me to no end. Oh, he's spending the same on WWE. I mean, if you can, if you track that TJ Gamebox thing, I mean, his ranking hasn't fallen. I think he dropped a 50 something, but he's way back up there again. He's back up into the 10 or 15 rank. And you got to whale out. You got to whale out to be up there. In the top 20 for those games, you have to whale out. I mean, you have to be spending, you know, four or five Gs a month. Uh, some of it is, oh, the mentality of we got to beat the trolls. Some of them genuinely like Phil. Uh, some of them feel bad for him. Like they, they buy into his pignosis. Um, you know, and some of them are just kids that just don't care. And they're like, oh, whatever. I'll, you know, this guy's begging me for money. Here's two bucks. Uh, that's what a lot of it is. And then you have your hardcore whales that just, I don't know why. Like the OIC guy and uh, these people that just wail off for him. I don't get it. No, I've never sent Phil a donut. I actually did send wings a donut, though. Uh, when he was doing the weight loss surgery, I explained this years ago. I felt bad for the guy. He was trying to do something positive. So I dropped him a $100 donation for the surgery. That was partly why I became a big detractor of wings after that. When he was just like, he didn't care. He was doing stupid shit, drinking soda, eating bad. He, you know, And it just pissed me off because I was like, dude... All these people gave you money. You had a chance. You got the surgery. You were doing okay. And then you just throw it away for, you know, because you just want to be lazy. And yeah. Uh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Uh, she knows that he has. She doesn't. He's the. I, I'm pretty sure they have separate finances. And he keeps that all hidden from her. She has no clue what he's bringing in. She has no clue what he's spending. Uh, he did get snag. Uh, a couple years ago and he promised never to do it again but of course but the bank leaks it showed that he he's still wailing out on that ww champions and a couple other gotcha games oh yeah wings are just yeah i mean he he was on that diet he lost like 20 30 pounds so it shows he can do it and then he's back again to just eating crap and and, and drinking his stuff no, cat, the cat has no clue. Cat's like, whatever. If, as long as the lights are on, I have food on my, you know, I, I get to go out once a week. That's all cat cares about, honestly. Oh, you donated for four out of business. <laughs> yeah, I always tell everyone, don't, you don't, you don't have to donate. Just be here, watch my content. Because I always tell everyone, YouTube, YouTube ads, ad revenue it is not as great as it used to be, but it's still good. You can make an honest living doing ad revenue. So I always tell anyone, hey, don't worry about it. Ad, you know, AdSense pays me, YouTube pays me, just watch my videos. And that that's all, I, I'm good. You know, I'm good. You know, if you know, I get extra donuts and stuff, hey, whatever, that's cool. I appreciate it. But, um, you know, that's why, it, and that was another reason why I didn't stream as much because I, I, I know some people like chill and stuff like that, they kind of rely. Uh, on the support, you know, so it was kind of like, all right, I, I don't want to, I don't want to eat everything up. Like, I don't want to do all these videos and then do all these streams because it hurts other content creators, you know, especially people that um, rely on, you know, the, the, the AdSense and stuff like that. So I, I was like, all right, well, let me cut back a little bit. So I'm not seen as being greedy. So yeah, that was part of the reason why I kind of cut back on streams. 
Uh, nothing. He's just going to change. He's going to do more React content. He's going to do more stupid stuff like um, what he's doing tomorrow with the hardware thing. And I think what he's going to try to do is convince people to be a guest. I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to try to convince people to be a guest on his podcast. And I can see him getting some, you know, some small content creator. But I don't see anyone with any clout or any, you know, any big fanfare to actually even touch his streams. Bronx, don't pimp. You're good, man. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. Just be here on stream. Chill. Have fun. Don't 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 be like Phil's dents. Don't take your mom's credit cards and, and tip. <laughs> uh, life advice. Uh, yeah. So, um, what depends on what what it depends on uh, what period of your life. So, if you're young, you're still in school. Definitely stay in school. Find yourself a good college, but don't overexert yourself with like this is one life advice I tell everybody. Kids. When they, when they graduate high school, they feel the need that they need to go out on their own and go to college and go away. No, that's a terrible decision. You're going to be in debt double the, double the amount in debt. If you're, if you're getting student, you know, if you have to get student loans and stuff like that, double. I would recommend doing one of two things. One, go to a local college, right? And stay at home. So you, you pay less or go to community college for your first two years, get an associate's degree, and then transfer into the four-year college. Because then all you have to do is two years, right? At a, at a you know, at, at cheaper, you save, the, you save a lot of money for your first two years. And then you do your two years uh, at, you know, at the college you want to go to, and your education is so much cheaper. You can do that. Or go work for a company and actually that's reimbursement. A lot of, a lot of companies now, uh, they actually pay for your whole college now. Before it used to be they gave you five thousand a year or whatever, but now they actually will pay for your college. I know Target pays for your whole college. So life advice is, is that you know definitely get a college degree, um, or get a trade. I mean, especially if you're guys, I tell guys all the time, you don't have to go to college to be successful. You know how much an electrician makes? An, electri an electrician makes working for someone can make ninety to one hundred thousand dollars a year. If you have your own business, you can make anywhere up to two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Plumbers outrageous. Plumbers, plumbers working for a company for a plumbing company, you can make eighty and ninety thousand starting. And if you have your own business, you can make two to three hundred grand a year. Uh, so you know that that's that's life advice. You know what I mean? I, I, and college isn't for everyone. That's another thing. You know, if, if if you feel like you know academically, you just can't cut it. Don't feel for. It. I mean, you can always do go to trade school. There's apprenticeships. There's tons of there's tons of way to make money in this country. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely that and save money no matter where you're working at, save money. If it's if you can save ten dollars a week from your paycheck, save ten dollars a week from your paycheck. If you can save more, save more. Like I have a rule in my family, my house, we save um, we, we essentially live off of one paycheck. And from that one paycheck, 50 percent of the paycheck goes to expenses. That's it. Max. And then the other 50 goes into savings and, and so on. So that, that's kind of like the rule. Saving is a, is a big thing for me. Save your money. Yep, definitely. Steam feeders, yeah. I mean, you can always work a union. I mean, I'm not a big union person. But again, you know, if that's something you definitely want to do, you can definitely do that. You have 401k, you have medical, so on. Yeah. And the nice thing is actually, if you work, if you live in a city, um, you can work for the city as an electrician or a plumber, making about 100 grand full medical pension everything 401k pen, you know all that stuff working for the city and the chances of you ever getting laid off are nil so yeah definitely i mean i picked up a trade because i used to do construction I, i've worked in construction so i know how to do electric i know how to do electrical plumbing i my room that i showed you guys my little streaming room i i built that from scratch pretty much my house i did the whole renovation so yeah so what do you think? Uh, Phil. Phil is worse. Phil is the worst out of all of them. Wings is just a moron and he makes very stupid decisions and, you know, he, he acts like an idiot. Uh, but Phil is a, a thief. He's a scammer. Uh, he will he will sell his mother his mother's bra if it made him a dollar. I mean, he's, he's just the worst of the worst. I try, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
Ah, I used to be in Philly. Where do you work in? Uh, where do you work for Philly? In HVAC, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah, yeah, I know Philly very well. I lived in uh, I lived in the summer since Summerton section for a little while, and I actually worked downtown for a little while. I worked at uh, the Two Liberty Signal. I worked for Independent Blue Cross. This was years ago. Uh, cause I, I don't, you know, there's too many people out there doxing and, um, you know, I, I don't need that drama. So no cam, no cam. Oh, you're welcome killer. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just stuff that, you know, if it, I, I, I don't understand sometimes when people, I mean, I have a big family and I don't understand some of the things they do. And it's like, you know, like I have one brother. I talk to him all the time. And this dude uh, leases his car. And I talk to him. I'm like, why do you lease your car? And it's for expense. And he likes expensive cars. And it's just like, okay, you know, you're leasing a car. Why don't you just buy the car? And he's just like, no, nah, it's easier this way. Blah, 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 blah. You know? And it's like, ah, but look at all the money you're spending, you know, long term. And you, you don't have anything. You know, It's just that type of stuff. So. Oh, you work for this other uh, family court? Yep, yep, yep. I know the area. Yep, yep. yep. Septa, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yep. Septa is the trans transit area. I, God, I remember years ago ca catching the L. I used to catch the L from um, Center City all the way to Bridge and Pratt. And then from Bridge and Pratt, I used to get into my car and drive up to Somerton. So, man, that's a long time ago. Yeah, but, you know, it's just, it's just so pricey and expensive you know what i mean it, it's like it's it's like the equivalent of renting an apartment versus buying a home you know what i mean it's 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 kind of the equivalent of that leasing a car versus owning a car um you know you you don't have anything after you're done with the lease you turn the car in and if you want to buy the car you can but it's, it just comes out to be more, way more expensive um so yeah For some, it's fine, I guess. If you're someone that doesn't have that many responsibilities and you just want to, then okay, cool, that's fine, you know. Uh, but if you're someone that you kind of have a family, you have a mortgage, you have debt to pay, you know, to me, you know, it's leasing a car is just 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 something that you really don't need. But to each his own. All right, Pip. I think that is it. I will be wrapping up. But BMWs go to crap after five. Yeah, that's another thing. Like my brother buy a Mercedes and a BMW. And it's like, I know you're trading, I know you're turning it in after your three year lease, you know, so then the next time you, you, you lease a car, you're going to have to put another down payment. You're going to have to sign a lease, you know, you're going to have to pay more in insurance because you have to have full coverage on that baby. Uh, you know, so yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of stuff he can do and, 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 you know, he can. He can he can work at home, especially now after COVID and stuff like that. It's just beyond ridiculous how you can work from home and, and make a decent living. Wings the same thing. I know wings, you know. All right, peace out, uh, scales man. You have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'm about to end right soon anyway, so but I appreciate you, man. All right, peps, let me let you guys go, man. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I love the Q and A at the end. It's very positive. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be streaming again. So look forward for the new stuff coming January first. You guys have a great, positive, chill night. And don't forget, DSP is a dude.